The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get it, Jeremy. Getting fed up with you. <laughs> Why? Tell, tell Already. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> I can't take your shit today. We just started. I know. Oh. And you are grating on my last fucking nerve. <laughs> yeah. Sickening what you do. It's what I do. And also, we have the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, another excellent stand up comedian, the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. I hope you get trapped in a garbage truck. That's what I think about that. It's not what I thought. It's really not at all what I thought about it. I, yeah. All I could think of was Ninja Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Shredder, man. You gotta love it. You'd be the you would be the worst Shredder of all fucking time. Yeah, five you, all five you, six of me. You are shorter than the fucking turtles. <laughs> Splinter would give me a run for right. my money. But you'd uh, be like yeah. Mini Shredder. Absolutely. You, you know, you're like the Mini Kiss version. Oh, okay. of Shredder. I'll do that. Uh, but anyways, guys, welcome into another episode. This is a comedy podcast uh, where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, this is also an adult com- uh, adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thanks. <sighs> and we got a lot of stuff to go over. This was uh, the week we've all been waiting for. This was the Super Bowl Sunday weekend. We all had a great time. Hope you did as well. This is also Valentine's Day. So uh, late Valentine's Day, happy, all that shit to you guys. I uh, really don't care about it. It's not my thing. But um, but we do have a lot of stuff to go over. Tits um, and puss. Why? I'm not going to tell you. He didn't Why not? Puss. Didn't <laughs> <get any> puss. <laughs> that's, my, that's, that's my private life man no puss i'm thinking puss, his wife yeah, got some yeah. maybe that maybe could be yeah, the thing, yeah, yeah 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 sure uh but we while no we puss for scotty right that sounds like a play i think so <laughs> no <laughs> puss for scotty it's a musical it's, it's a sequel to no rest for the week at Quick it is. <laughs> it's, uh, no puss for scotty <laughs> yeah. it's a musical guys. and it's just him coming out on stage and the whole audience being like oh yeah we get it <laughs> <laughs> of course not of course he's getting no puss look right. at him it's gonna uh-huh. win it it's gonna win a tony is it? I, I would like to think you would come out on stage dressed as Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> All five foot six of me. Right. And, and I mentioned Mini Kiss earlier. Do you think any of the members of that can host a podcast? No. I bet they can. I would love that. Not as good as me. I um, think they could. Uh-huh. I would like to see you actually show up in Kiss Makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should totally do that. <laughs> but, but not like, you know, Gene Simmons, not the demon, like the kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which one is that? Is that Peter Chris? Uh, I'm not a huge Kiss fan, so I, I know Gene I Simmons, it and, that, and that's it. All right. But anyways, uh, like I said, we got a lot of stuff to get to. I think it's, I think it's uh, Meredith. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Don Meredith. <laughs> Meredith Baxter Bernie? Don right. Meredith. Oh, Don yeah, Meredith. Don, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, as always, playing, playing linebacker. <laughs> we've got news. We've got real shit, horse shit, bad advice, overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, draft, and as always, a shitty situation. Uh, and yeah, but my favorite is still bad advice with Jeremy. Uh, before we get on to the show, well, we're gonna, why am I here? I can get the fuck out of here. That's some, <laughs> some information that nobody solicited. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody wants your fucking opinions. Right. Guy. But before we get on to that stuff, we're going to hit it off with our week, week recap. We like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. So Derek, what? How was your week, bud? Uh, if very fulfilling. I'm sure. Uh, I did. Tell us about it, Derek. Yeah. Tell I'd us all about it. I'd love to tell you, Jeremy. All right. Uh, not not you, Scotty. You take your fucking yeah, headphones. You plug your <laughs> plug your fucking ears right now. All right. So what happened? <laughs> I did some comedy. Uh huh. Yeah. I was at the uh, Scotty. No, I'm sorry. I was at the uh, <laughs> Lumen. <laughs> it was it was a really good time. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Headliner was great. Was he? Yeah. Feature very funny. Very funny. Who was uh, the feature? Uh, Ryan Goodcase. Don't know. Yeah. Great guy. And uh, what are you guys talking about? 
we're having a fucking con. This is an oh. A and C conversation, oh. so be gone. <laughs> All right. uh, anyways, I was saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to be in a part on this whole deal. Did, did you get any material you want to steal? No, 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 no. They weren't that good. No. All right. Uh, but no, I went. It was Graham K. Was the headliner uh, who just uh, did a run on. I think Jimmy Fallon. He was on late with, uh, late show with Colbert as well. Mm. Oh yeah. And then uh, the feature act was Ryan Goodcase, who was very funny. He was a winner of the World Series of Comedy and also won the uh, San Francisco Comedy Competition. Oh wow! Damn. So he was very. That's actually more prestigious, in my opinion. Oh, that, absolutely. That San Francisco is fucking amazing. Yeah, you can't wear shorts on stage. Uh, uh. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> yeah. At the, At the World, World Series, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way you win. <laughs> you wear a hat, you're fucking yeah. done. <laughs> Highest hemline wins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if your pockets are hanging out the bottom of them jean shorts, <laughs> you you automatically get a pass to the next round. Uh-huh. Right. So uh, we, uh, I, I did those shows, and uh, that was a lot of fun, mm-hmm. and got to hang out with those guys and chat with those guys, and that was great. Uh, also... I went to the bar after the show on Saturday. I know because apparently some listeners think I'm an alcoholic because I go to bars and drink. Uh, But I went to the bar on Saturday Mm -hmm. after the show, and it was absolutely hysterical because I'm sitting there talking to a guy who's wearing a New England England Patriots beanie. Mm. And uh, we're just talking it up, whatever. Propeller beanie? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking nerd. (laughs) (laughs) I think dweeb would be the word for yeah, that. That'd yeah, that'd be a dweeb. Oh, yeah. Nerds uh, become a, like a compliment now. Yeah. yeah no. It's just somebody who knows a lot about something. It's like redneck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. <laughs> so, so I'm talking to this guy, and uh, all of a sudden, speaking of rednecks, this guy plays the national anthem on the jukebox. Because oh. why a, wouldn't it fucking be on there? At right. 1230 in the morning at a bar. Right, right. <laughs> right next to Swangin' by John Anderson <laughs> and Heartache Tonight by the Eagles. It's right in between there. So this guy's going, hey. Take your hat off! <laughs> Yelling to the guy in the beanie, mm-hmm. and the guy's like, ah, "It's we're indoors. I'm. It's you know, it's kind of chilly in here." He's like, "Take your hat off! I'm from Canada. It's a Patriots hat. What? What <laughs> country are you in? That's bullshit, you pussy. Take your hat off!" And so, as soon as that song's over, I start giggling. And I have 300 jukebox credits. <laughs> and I like to start shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I immediately decide to play O Canada, mm-hmm. uh, followed by the Russian National Anthem. Oh, fuck. And about 13 songs where they didn't speak English. <laughs> and he was pissed. I forgot to fast pass one of them. So he's like, he played Boot in Your Ass by Toby Keith. Oh, of course. Like, yeah. Of course, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it's time for some fucking Macarena. And, I just fucking, <laughs> and they left. They're basically the same song. <laughs> right. And the other guy was like, you're going to fucking get my ass you, kicked. You're I get do the same fight. dance to either one. <laughs> the national anthem and Macarena? No, the boot in your ass, <laughs> okay. the Toby Keith. So, and then the the chick I work with, the disagilities chick, the one I was telling you about, the one that's on the spectrum, like on the very. Oh high yeah, end. Jill. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, the chick I, I work today. We are. I don't think you were telling me about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we were talking about it. On it the was show on the show last, last week. week. I don't listen to the show. <laughs> <laughs> she. Uh, I stopped listening when I heard "What's Up." <laughs> I haven't heard anything since. <laughs> she has apparently been, uh, I guess, or went on a date with some guy who's a pilot. Ooh. And uh, the whole time, we decided that she should make uh, really stupid puns mm-hmm. the entire time or ask really dumb questions. So she was like, I said, you should be like, hey, what's your favorite band? Mine's Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you like living in Kansas because of the Great Plains? <laughs> and then she asked him if uh, they could open a window while they were flying. And he goes, no, <laughs> we're going 200 miles an hour. <laughs> She goes, after they land, she goes, you know I was joking, right? And he's like, well, yeah, I figured that out after the fact, but I was, like, in the zone. (laughs) Oh, my God. And so that was really funny. And I guess today she said they're going out for sushi, and I I told her that she should uh, be like, "Uh, yeah, I'll have the uh, fish sticks. (laughs) I just think that would be funny. And then we had this whole conversation about how she's going to eventually have to tell him that she's on the spectrum, and she doesn't know how to do it. And I said, I got it. I got the perfect way to tell him. <laughs> and I said, you know, he sounds like a gentleman. Uh, you guys go out to dinner, and you get the bill. Mm-hmm. And when it comes time to pay, you say, hey, I'll pick up the tab. And, of course, he's going to say, no, 
I've got it. And then you just start rocking back and forth going, I pay, I pay, I pay, I pay. <laughs> start hitting yourself in the head. Yeah. So, so now you're bruised, and now you just blame it on him. Yeah. Uh, sadly, her last day is tomorrow. Aww. Yeah, and I asked her whenever she leaves and clocks out for the last time if she would just tell us all that she was going for a pack of smokes, and she'd be right back. <laughs> 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 I, I have questions about this. <laughs> okay. uh, was this a commercial pilot? I don't know. I don't think he's been on TV. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, fly I, TWA. Like, did he fly jetliners and stuff? I, because he's going a lot faster than 200 miles an hour. I think this was on a tiny prop plane. I don't okay. Think he was like, hey, you want to hop on the 730 to Charlotte? <laughs> yeah. And believe it or not, some of those actually you can open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then we, of course, I had a uh, Super Bowl party. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jeremy, you were there. Scotty huh? showed up. Uh, S- snuck in. Yeah. I was there. You were there. Mm-hmm. If you say so. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, I had a very good time. Uh, Jeremy's dog decided my floor didn't have enough pee on it. <laughs> and one of the I have no idea more. what you're talking about right now. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Jeremy decided my floor didn't have enough pee <laughs> on it. That's right. So I commanded so. my dog to pee on the floor. <laughs> He didn't want to. <laughs> that was the weirdest fucking thing. My dog hasn't peed on anybody else's floor in days. And <laughs> we have a sign at home, days without an incident. And we had to reset that fucker. <laughs> so uh, we had that go on. I got a heater for the garage. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Why didn't we spend any time out there? I was going to say. <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell oh, you okay. why. I'll yeah. tell you why. You want to why? Why? Okay, here's why. All right. Uh, so I got it all installed the night uh-huh. before, and uh, I go to turn it on, and it'll turn on for about, uh, I'd say, about three and a half minutes, uh-huh. and then it clicks off. It thinks it's reach temp. I'll set it to 85 degrees, and it will just monitor the air right in front of the heater. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then okay. go, and it's off. So I, I mean, don't it, know what the fuck to do with it. It's not wrong. No, <laughs> the air yeah, in front of it is definitely right there. Yeah. Uh, there's a thermostat on the wall. I go to the wall thermostat, and it will not read it. It doesn't like it, and so it just kicks off. Mm. Okay. So that was $1,000 of shit. (laughs) Jesus Christ. I'm sure that's a setting. You want me to come over and work on it? Love for you to. Uh Can do. I'll bring a hammer. (laughs) All right. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, that was pretty much the entire week. One very awkward Super Bowl guest. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Very awkward. Who's that? Uh, My dog, it sounds like. No, I think your dog was a little less awkward, <laughs> even with the pee. Uh, came in. I didn't know who she was. Somebody else invited her. I said, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. That. Yeah. Oh, oh she, I thought you were referring to somebody else. No. Yeah, she, uh, <laughs> I thought you were referring to me. No. She, no, uh, I wasn't even thinking that. Oh. She walks in, and uh, I said, hey, and I opened the door, and she walks in and did not introduce herself, uh, walks straight up to my wife and goes, can I get a beer? And my wife's like, well, uh, we don't have any so-and-so's beers over here. They're in, they're drinking Dos Equis. And she's like, I'll just take one of these and grabs one of Scotty's wife's beers without asking. Didn't even finish it. Thankfully, she left after, I'm guessing, an hour. Very awkward. And the guy that invited her was like, yeah, thanks for letting her come. She just doesn't really have very many friends. I'm sitting here thinking, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> Eh, you know, we got plenty of beer at the house. Her and that friend are kind of a match made in heaven. (laughs) I like that guy. I like that guy, too. Uh, He's a little weird, but I like him. Okay. That it? Yep. Uh, Okay. All right. Uh, Well, what are you going to say? Nothing? Oh, okay. Uh, But yeah, that was uh, was my weekend, too. Um, Before we did comedy at the Looney Bin? Yeah. You just piggyback off everybody else's shit. I'm glad I haven't gone yet. You would have fucking taken my things. I didn't even hear that That, part. That is true. You did not I was out. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, but no, first uh, Saturday night, I got to hang out with my buddy Steve. He came over and watched the UFC fights. Um, it was uh, it was a great time. I fell asleep after the second fight. Eater Steve? Uh, yeah, competitive eater Steve. Gotcha. Um, and, uh, but he, There's he, Steve Eater and Steve Peters. That's uh-huh. right. Yeah, that's, no. that's right. <laughs> that's Peter Eater. <laughs> you get them together, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, which uh, is something you don't want to competitively eat. No, right? <laughs> you, you certainly don't want to be entered in that. Yeah, I've seen some movies where some chicks do mm-hmm. that, right? Uh, and some of us think that that should be an Olympic uh, event. But anyways, uh, so I watched the UFC fights. Think Scotty get his own medal? Nope. 
probably. Nope. Um, they drove me smack. Make me my own Peter Eater medal. <laughs> they'd, they'd give him a coal medal. <laughs> Uh, so the uh, golden donut. <laughs> God damn it! The golden cracker. That's what it would be. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Um, so yeah, I had the UFC fight, and yes, I did sneak over to Derek's house for the Super Bowl. I had a great time. In all seriousness, I, I thank you guys very much for putting that on. It was a much uh, better uh, experience this time around since the last time mm-hmm. I was over there. Yeah, uh, this then, time you were you weren't the annoying chick. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was not. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I was trying to be on my best behavior. And uh, I'd say it went okay. Um, Finally got the smell of latex out of the basement. Yep. And Scotty just kept <laughs> farting and farting and farting. Hey, you know, I just that's why you got to stay back. I, I care about you guys. Oh, it smelled like it was latex down there. Whatever. For days. Um, yeah. But uh, like Strong I do. Strong latex. Latex right. and lube. Mm-hmm. Right. I uh, forgot a whole bunch of shit over at Derek's house. And so. Uh, as I, always. I, uh, as always. Uh, but this time it was my phone charger. So uh, my and phone's. Not di- your dignity. Right. And uh, so now I, I have a dead phone and, and I've just recently been able to charge it. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, v- Valentine's Day happened. Uh, I actually had a pretty decent Valentine's Day. We didn't do anything. We got to stay at home, uh, spend time with each other, watch uh, a show that we're into, and get ready for the fucking ski trip, baby. Yeah. I hope you had a tree. No. <laughs> Snowboarding you, you is look at next us week. as though we're included in this. I We are. It's a I, week without them. Yeah, that's right. We are very much am, included. Are I'm, you as excited for the ski trip as I am, Jeremy? I, am. I really oh, am. I'm shit. doing this I, for you. I bought some <laughs> skis just to send with him to make sure he doesn't have a reason not to go. <laughs> no, it's my board. It's back there. I got him a fucking 10-pound box of hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Just so he nice, stays nice and warm mm-hmm. and doesn't get too cold and want to come home. I got him a gas card. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of shit. Yeah. But I'm we got a care package for you. Yeah. yeah. Waiting, Scotty. You're going to love it. Okay. I'm fine. Uh, but that was my week. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, well, I spent most of my week doing what I consider to be my favorite hobby and one that I would actually urge you to take up, Scotty, hmm. uh, minding my own fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love to do, and uh, I'm good at it. Mm-hmm. I'm real good at it. Um, other than that, I just I worked a lot. We've been working a lot of fucking overtime That's at awesome. work, which really just wears me down. So mostly all I do is watch TV, so I watch some, some new things. Um, Ooh, critic Jeremy. I got reviews. I certainly got reviews. Reviews with Jeremy. Yep. Um, let's see. I uh, I finished up Boba Fett. Okay. All right. All right. Don't ruin it. I I can't ruin it any worse than they already did. <laughs> Damn it. It is seven episodes of garbage. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm sorry. Five episodes. Two episodes were Mandalorian. <laughs> okay. um, let's see. I watched Lock and Key. Finished up season two. Okay. There we go. Of that. Now Good that's a pretty good show okay like all right it. all right um and then i started watching reacher on amazon prime okay it's based off of the jack reacher characters right uh has been portrayed by tom cruise in two movies but it's based off of a book character and in the book he's six foot four uh which so not tom, tom cruise. cruise is five foot seven <laughs> um this guy acts like a six foot four tom cruise but jesus christ is he fucking ripped <laughs> and it's it's good. It's you can tell it's written to where he to make him look way smarter than anybody actually is in the world. Uh-huh. But uh, and it's kind of lazy writing at times. But for the most part, still pretty goddamn good show. Awesome. I'm like four episodes deep. Four knuckles. <laughs> yeah. I call it four yeah. knuckles four deep knuckles into deep. Reacher. I watched a whole different Reacher. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Reach around. Uh huh. <laughs> actually, it was a biopic. It was a documentary about toothbrushes. Really? Yeah. Nice. yeah. The entire, it just, here's what we did with the neck. We bent it a little bit, and here's, we put color-coded bristles on it to let you know whenever it's time to get a new one. You know who actually came up with that idea? Tom Scranton. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. goddamn. I didn't know that. New facts on this show. Mm-hmm. Who's Tom Scranton? I don't I know. No idea. <laughs> We're just making up people at this point. I, I thought there would be some interesting backstory, even if it was made up. <laughs> Bill, I, I didn't realize it just ended at that. I thought you guys managed bands together. No, no. Oh, no, no. That was a, a different Bill Stratton. <laughs> Tom. Tom Stratton. Oh, well, it yeah. was his brother, Bill. That yeah. is who I yeah. managed bands yeah. with. Twins, Tom and Bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Benny Ogbayani is the spokesperson for that movie, isn't it? No, he's not, Scotty. <laughs> okay. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. God damn it. 
Why do you got to ruin everything that's good? <laughs> it's my, my nature, Jerry. Aren't you skiing yet? No. Your mind's already there, isn't it? Keep close, it there. Close. It's not next week. It's it's in the middle of next week. So we I, get one episode before we go. I'd like to see you fall down a hill so fast. <laughs> Just, <laughs> like, like that one skier that was uh, like apparently jumped fucking ate shit and then he just like slithered all the way down over the oh yeah i saw that guy (laughs) that was my favorite olympian of all time yeah next to greg luganis bashing his head on the bottom of the fucking platform (laughs) love that yeah and and that that fucking gymnast that ran fucking dick first right into the fucking (laughs) pummel but uh other than that yeah um and then uh of course yesterday valentine's day Mm -hmm. had a had an irish valentine's day what nice, the, you beat the we, shit out of us. We did. <laughs> All right. We, we got in a fist fight and a drunken fist fight. <laughs> Hit her with my shillelagh. There you go. We wore green. We drank green beer. Sweet. <laughs> Sounds we like ate dinner time. from Carlos O'Kelly. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> and uh, Speaking a language of love there. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. Famous Irish food. Then. Sure. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, colored her hair red with blood. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that was my week. This sounds like a great Very time, romantic. Jerry. Yeah, you're, you're, She gave me some really nice woodworking tools. Yeah. And uh, I gave her some Legos. <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I legitimately did. Did you? Yeah. It's amazing what they charge for, like, big <laughs> Star Wars Legos. So oh. I got her the friggin' uh, uh, Star Destroyer, uh-huh. which was big. 200 bucks for that fucking thing. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not bragging, but I got that kind of cash. <laughs> well, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's uh, good. It sure is good, but that sure could have gone to something else. <laughs> yeah. Like I forgot. More woodworking tools. I forgot about Valentine's Day. Uh, I actually did the whole last minute thing. Oh, you did? Yeah. I fucking woke yeah. up yesterday Flowers morning. from a gas station? Almost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I woke up yesterday. And I was on my getting ready to go to work, and I glance over at the nightstand, and there's a card and an envelope on the nightstand, <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh fuck, I hope she's cheating on me," uh-huh. <laughs> and that's for somebody else, uh-huh. you know what I mean? And I'm like, "God damn it!" So I go to work, and I got off work early, and I went straight to Walgreens right by the house on the way mm-hmm. home, picked up a card, then called about fucking seven restaurants to see if I could get in anywhere. Uh, got laughed at four times. Wow! Yeah. And then uh, <clears throat> you didn't tell him you were the host on Laughing on the Sideline. That was why they laughed. <laughs> Should have tried Carlos O'Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> well, we ended up going to a uh, to Ninja. Oh yeah, and then we went to. Uh, I don't know what Ninja is. It's what is Ninja? Sushi. It's Ninja Su- spelled wrong. It, Thank you, Scotty. Welcome. Damn, he's fucking good. Oh fuck, he's so fast. Uh, <laughs> no, so we got some sushi there. There was actually not a long wait, and when we got there, because we got there at like six, we went old people style. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then uh, we That's went to blue plate special. We right. went to. Colton. I'm sorry, blue plate special. We went to <laughs> brew plate. Brew plate. <laughs> We went to Cold Stone Creamery, uh-huh. and uh, I thought of another million-dollar idea. Now, I love Stone Cold Creamery. Mm-hmm. You know, we talked about that. Oh, yeah. What about Cold Stoned Creamery? Ooh. And it's just ice cream with edibles in it. I'm pretty sure that that probably exists, or most people go there because they are stoned. I think you just put the edibles right in the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would there's, fuck people up. I'm going to say there's <clears throat> nothing better on a nice... February evening and some ice cream. <laughs> the sizes instead of like like it, love it, and gotta have it or be like, what? Yeah. And Dave's not here. <laughs> I gotta say, I've never actually been to a cold stone. I've been to the what was the other one? Marble slab? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've been to that one. Yeah, that's the Walmart of Cold Stones. Is Date, it? Yeah. Dated a chick. Is that why everybody there smoked? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Marlboro was one of the flavors. One of the, you could just get old cigarette butts chopped up in the ice cream, mixed up. and uh, It was Marlboro slabbed. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dated a chick from Cold Stone. Everybody there was in their pajamas. Yeah. The other funny thing that happened, too, I got the best fucking, I got hit. Somebody trolled me the best. With one of the funniest lines I've had, somebody hit me with, and it was fucking great. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a guy I featured or I, or I emceed for about five months ago named Patrick Melton. Okay. And uh, he's funny, very funny. He's a headliner. Uh, and I had posted because the Friday Late Show was awful, like awful. I didn't just Always is. not just me doing bad. Like uh-huh. the feature ate shit. The headliner ate shit. Like it was just bad. Mm-hmm. And uh, and yeah, Friday Late always is. And I was like, fuck, that is like one of the worst sets I've ever had. So I get on I get on Facebook and I post top five worst sets of all time. And he comments underneath and said, 
I'm glad I was able to be there for the other four. <laughs> I was like, I can't even get mad at that. No. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. Well, good. I, uh, I, had, I did a Friday Late Show once where I stopped in the middle of my set and went, okay, why are you fucking people here? <laughs> yeah. You know this is not a hostage situation, right? <laughs> that was the biggest laugh I got. The, the feature didn't even do his closing line. He was just like, "Ah, eh, fuck you, people!" <laughs> yeah. and walked off stage like five minutes early. I had to like run up there because yeah. he left the stage empty, and it was the only show. The headliner that week, a guy named Michael Mack, yeah, who he's a guitar comic, but he he has this Elaborate amazing closer. closer that's very famous called the History of Rock. It's it's basically a ridiculous puppet show, um, <laughs> but it's it's really fucking cool and. That was the, he got a standing ovation the other four shows, and that one, nothing. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, they, they barely clapped for him as he left, and it's like, he, it's really one of the coolest things you'll ever see at a comedy club. Um, it's not funny. I mean, kind of funny, but, and, and the very end of it is very funny. But, uh, yeah, look it up on YouTube. There or you go. go see Michael Mack. There you go. Yeah. In fact, I, I would like to get Michael Mack on here to host this show. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else would, too. Yeah, that second show <clears throat> was fucking brutal. And you know what sucks about doing that at a comedy club when you bomb at a comedy club? Is while nobody you knew was there, probably, you feel like everybody saw it. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. No. And, and you just feel horrible about it. And especially late show Friday, you can't wait till the next show just to try and redeem yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. was, you got to wait the whole fucking night. And I was like, "Thanks a lot." I usually I'm like, "Thanks a lot." You guys have been great. My name's Derek Alders, and this that that show. I was like, "Thanks a lot." You guys have been here. Yeah, uh, are you guys? <laughs> then I'm like, "You guys ready to get your next comic up on stage?" <sighs> yeah, yeah, like nothing, <laughs> nothing. There's always that one guy in the fucking front row just. Arms crossed, mm-hmm. stonewalling. And because of his attitude, the people around him don't feel like they can laugh. And that it sucks. just fucking fucks everything up. And I yeah. hate blaming the crowd. I never will. And I still won't even do it on that one. But that man, that they fucking sure sucked. <laughs> they didn't help matters. You, you know, it's, it's one of those things. If you have uh, tested material that you know gets laughs and it's been getting laughs every other time, it's them. Yeah. yeah. That, that's on them. All right. Well, now we got to move on to the sports. But before we do that, uh, speaking of uh, nut sacks on uh, on stand up comedy stages, mm-hmm. um, you really want to make yourself groomed for those stand up comedy sessions. I mean, I think that's one of Derek's favorite jokes that he. Yeah, does. I leave my dick hanging out that's the right. whole time. They need to see that my balls are nicely clean <laughs> shaven. They didn't 100%. even notice. No, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that one guy was just sitting there like. Not even looking at my dick, <laughs> arms crossed, staring off into space. Like, yep. he didn't want to look at. He it. had no idea it was that close to his mouth. <laughs> I know. I could feel the breath on my cleanly shaven scrotum. <laughs> and the, the way that you do that, he was that. chewing wintergreen. <laughs> of course he was. He just got off his shift <laughs> at the fucking marble slab. <laughs> <laughs> Needed to wind down. <laughs> But in order to have that cleanly shaven scrote, you uh, need to invest in the products from manscaped.com, especially the lawnmower 4.0. Uh, Derek was trying to blind that guy with that LED light while he was up on stage, weren't you? No, they were. that's what was shining in my face. They didn't have spotlights. They just had a bunch of 4.0s on a rack. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. <laughs> They've actually started using the 3.0s at Pink Floyd shows, just swinging them <laughs> around. It's, that's how bright they are. You need that adjustable light. Uh, that's true. You do. Uh, but check out the lawnmower 4.0. We don't need no. no. <laughs> uh, 3.0. Vegetation. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to clean your pole. <laughs> hey, Mitski, clean that fucking pole. <laughs> Oh, jeez. They'll they're... actually take two of them. That's what they used to chop up the ice cream at Marble Slab. <laughs> People donate their old ones. <laughs> because with those ceramic <laughs> blades, not only do they do an excellent work on ice cream, they yes. also They're not going to rust. They're not going to rust, but they also help with cutting your hair without cutting mm-hmm. you up. And that's very, very important. Which is why you need the blade guard, because trust me, these things are sharp enough, they would definitely cut into that marble. Absolutely. (laughs) Without a doubt. That's right. But they also have other products. They have things. Like what? They have my favorite product, which is the weed whacker. That's Uh for your ear hair and nose hairs especially. Mm -hmm. They also have the bone rake. (sighs) Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, they got that. Don't comb the hairs around your bone. Mm. <laughs> there shouldn't be any. <laughs> exactly. That's the introductory product. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's just to get you warm. That's how you fluff it up. <laughs> right. right before you use the lawnmower. Yeah, that should be their next product, the fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they have tons of excellent products at manscaped.com. They have body wash now. They have the crop cleanser. They have a whole bunch of things that are high quality. They still I got have some of the cologne. It's not what, bad. What, refined. There you, there you go. Refined is an excellent product. I, will, I, I wear it. Uh, but, yeah, check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and helps, uh, you know, yeah, it helps us out. That just it, make, it helps men out in general because yeah. uh, with every purchase That's they right. make a donation to uh, help uh, men's health issues: yeah. prostate cancer, testicular cancer, annoying bitches, right? Annoying bitches, get them away. Yeah, they won't take care of the other ninety nine problems. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, that's the one. Mm-hmm. Right? That's it. Uh, but thank you to manscaped.com. We really do appreciate you guys over there. But we got sports to get to. Uh, before we get to the fun stuff in the Super Bowl, I wanted briefly to talk about the MLB lockout. They just met, I believe it was Saturday. Uh, was it Saturday mm-hmm. the third? Oh, twelfth. I apologize. Yeah. Um, I haven't really heard a lot of good things come out of it. The only thing that I saw that they did agree on was the universal DH, which is like the one thing that I really don't fucking want. <laughs> so that's yeah, that's they mine. Just get rid of it completely. I hundred percent. Eat the DH. It changes the rules of baseball. It does. And it, yes, it makes it probably a little more exciting. There's more offense, mm-hmm. which I get that you're trying to draw a new crowd in, but it fucks up the purity of the game. Yeah. I don't like it. I think that instead of the DH, they should just let them carry a bat to every base. Yeah. I think they should let a spectator hit. Yeah. In Ooh. place of the pitcher. Oh. Just whoever, <clears throat> they pick a random seat number. Yep. And that guy has to come up. No warm up swings. No nothing. That's, they, that's why all the fans get to bring their own bat. They should target special kids because then the pitcher will kind of float it up to them. It'll be a little bit easier. They've already got their own helmets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 100%. Be funny. Like now batting the fan. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Ziegler. <laughs> the, the fan. Check him out at Derek'sOnlyFans.com. <laughs> Turns out he, he, this is like his fourth time being picked. He's a season ticket holder. <laughs> yeah. Love it. He's not gotten a hit yet, but he does have a foul tip. <laughs> Odd thing about Gary, uh, his favorite color is clear. <laughs> <laughs> Neon clear. <laughs> but they uh, they did, uh, oh, well, I want to point out that spring training is supposed to start this week. The pitchers and catchers were supposed to report yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday okay. So, yeah, it's not looking pretty. The main things that I saw that they cannot agree on. Um, How is that not a giant holiday for gay bars? No idea. Pitchers and catchers report. <laughs> yeah, they they should training. fucking do something for that. Yeah, for yeah, for for the people new to the lifestyle. This is yeah. your spring training. <laughs> yeah, pitchers and catchers We're breaking you out here. Uh, but They're the like things gay swingers club, mm-hmm. right? The issues such as salaries for the younger players, they can't come to an agreement on. Well, no, not the swingers. There's no batters, just pitchers and catchers. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're swinging. I'm sure, they're. <laughs> uh, let's see. Reward service time to high achieving players. So that's basically service time manipulation. Uh, the lottery pick increase to the eight teams is what the players want. The MLB owners only want three. So those are three things that they can't come to uh, an agreement of some kind. Baseball on. does a lottery. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, they they uh, only want. Is that a new thing? I don't I, think they do a lottery. They they are, are you talking are, about the compensation picks or no no no. Uh, they are go, they do have or it's in place now to have a three team lottery as well. Ah, uh, so there's first there, yeah, and they want <laughs> and they want eight teams to be involved in that lottery pick. They're trying to disincentivize tanking. Is Correct. what they're trying to do. And three isn't really they're like well shit a top three pick. Fuck Bryant. Chris Bryant was a number two pick. Mm-hmm. So, so, and I, I agree with the players on this. I think if you're going to do something like that, you should do an eight team lottery if, if you're going to do that. I mean, they've technically already put a rule in place to disincentivize uh, tanking. Uh, I know I've talked about Major League Rule 21, Section D, Article 2 before. Right. Uh, Section A actually refers to uh, any player or manager who does not give their best effort, mm. uh, intentionally does not give their best effort with. Uh, for the purposes of throwing a game, uh, will be permanently banned. Okay. So, like that rule too. If teams are uh, intentionally tanking, they should be kicked out of baseball forever. Mm-hmm. 
right. Yeah, Mike Cubby's won a World Series doing it, and it's kind of one of those things where when one it's it's <laughs> they everything. Were trying to lose those fucking games. Yeah, no, they. I mean, they were bad for they traded everybody away and built through the draft and right. actually and hit on draft picks at least at the time. Right. And now it's like when one team does it, and they're like, "Oh fuck, it worked for them," and mm-hmm. now they've got a pretty good window. We're gonna do it, and right. that's exactly what every sport does. That right. right, but it's not like they were specifically sending the players out there to not play their best baseball. No, or, they were just getting the shittiest players to right, play their best baseball. They were getting nine at Benny Agbayani. They, <laughs> yeah. they, they he's did an the, all-star, dude. Absolutely he is. And, <laughs> and he, he's, he may be like one of the worst ever, but he's number one in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> but, I mean, the, they were doing the best they could with the shit that they had to work with. Absolutely. Right. And uh, the, un- the only th- other thing, it, do, do any of us disagree with that the players, especially in the minor league system, are extremely underpaid? Oh, badly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, Unless you get a depends. giant signing bonus. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you got the bonus babies, but um, the ones who get past their rookie deal, mm-hmm. there are player. Bob was, was telling me one time that yeah. – uh, and, and maybe I shouldn't say that Bob told me this. I don't know. <laughs> but there was a guy. Rob. Playing, Rob, Rob, told, Rob you. told you. That's right. Rob. Rob. Uh, Bullet. Bullet. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby Bullets um, was telling me that, uh, yeah, there were some guys when they were AAA, just guys who were placeholders that weren't even on the 40-man roster, but they're placeholder, two, three million dollars a year. Jesus. But when they're on that rookie contract and they have zero union protection and all that, and they can't, they basically are playing for a standard amount, which is like, you know, $1,000 a week and something like that. And, and rent at a shit apartment. Yep. They were actually staying in hotels, I believe. Uh, mm. No, they, yeah. a lot of them. A lot of them were staying like, staying at like um, were like the people's water people's homes and oh, stuff like hosts that, and like stuff. hosts and stuff. Yeah, really for the minor league players. Mm-hmm. I know they do that with like uh, semi pro teams. They're the, the, in Derby that they're always looking for people for the Derby Twins. Oh, okay. Host host families. We had yeah, actually considered teams. doing it, and then we remembered we don't like people. Right. And um, <clears throat> but uh, or kids. No, yeah, and they they are children. Mm-hmm. God, that surprises me. I've, I've been to a couple of those Derby Twins <clears throat> games, and they're a lot of them eighteen, nineteen years yep. old. None going, of them fucking look alike. No, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but, but the oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. There's there's actually zero twins on that team. That's <laughs> fucking bullshit. They did have a set of triplets. There was a guy who. Uh, <laughs> But they were all fraternal. There was a sister in there. <laughs> yeah. um, and by that, I mean a black woman. Um, <laughs> but there was a guy who actually played for, and, and this may be the worst named be- team in all of baseball, the Liberal BJs. <laughs> yeah. And there was a guy who played for them who was a pretty good hitter who only had one hand. Oh, I think I do remember that. Yeah, guy. that was fucking weird. Um, but I almost got recruited to play for the liberal BJs at one point in my life. <laughs> it's, it's actually fun to, cause those guys are just out there giving it all they got just <clears throat> yeah. in the hopes of maybe somebody will see them. Right. It's Hunter, actually kind of fun to watch. I think Hunter Pence played for the BJs. Did he? Did he really? Pretty sure he did. I'll be darned. Uh, but moving on. Did from, he only have one hand? No. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Lost in a hunting accident. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Once he got to the majors, he could afford to buy a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get on to the Super Bowl, last thing about baseball I do want to talk about was uh, the district attorney's office have said and announced that Trevor Bauer will not face criminal charges stemming really? from allegations of sexual assault. He will still be somewhat penalized by Major League Baseball, but that is coming from Rob Manfred, who I don't trust at all. I think you're going to have a hard time finding a team that'll sign him. That's, I don't think you will at all. I don't either. You don't think so? I no. mean, I will. Uh, maybe. Okay, hold on a second. Maybe. I think that he takes a punishment, some kind of punishment, from whatever the Major League Baseball organization is going to hand out to him. It'd be a fine. A, a fine, a suspension, whatever the case may be. But, yeah, he's too good of a pitcher, I think, to not yeah. play or not sign. I, I, re- I realize that, you know, proving something in a court of law is much different than just making an assumption. And I, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to just make assumptions without somebody having their day in court. But I saw the pictures of that girl afterwards, and I have yeah. a very hard time believing that that was consensual. I agree. I, I, I but, don't, don't want to rattle any cages <laughs> or, no. or get on the wrong side of this, but from the uh, pictures of that... 
and compare them to the pictures of something very similar, like Alvin Kamara's victim over this last week, which I said incorrectly. Um, I, I said that uh, the Alvin Kamara one happened um, after the Pro Bowl. Mm-hmm. That is incorrect. It happened before the Pro Bowl. It happened the night before. They kept it quiet so he could play, and then they arrested his ass. So was, he was pissed off that he had to play in the Pro Bowl. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. Anything he could to get out, out of it. But uh, they're it, like, we're not going to send you to jail. You're playing at fucking Pro Bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think you're going to get out of this that's shit. Seriously, that's, I'll take rape in the shower <laughs> over that fucking Pro Bowl. That's, that's so awful. That's they're part saying, of your fucking punishment, Camara. They're saying he's facing eight to ten Pro Bowls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're, they're, <laughs> right. <laughs> that was great. Um, they're considering a community service. <laughs> But uh, but in all seriousness, you take two those two pictures and put them next to each other. I mean, obviously the guy is much worse, but it it's still pretty damn close. I that's think that per- should be the punishment. <laughs> yeah. Alvin Kamara should beat up Trevor Bauer. <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great! Well, moving on to the NFL really quickly. I, I heard something that uh, Rob Gronkowski may not retire. In fact, because of his one year contract finishing finishing with <laughs> the Buccaneers, he wants to go play with uh, Joey Burrows. Nice. Yeah. Well, I, burrow, but. Th- I, d- I didn't actually read the uh, deal here if you've got anything about it. But uh, as of yesterday, now the thing with Brady isn't necessarily set in stone. I heard that too. I yeah. hadn't heard this. He basically said that he's happy with his decision for now, but you never know what the future may hold. And it's always been his dream to play for his favorite team growing up, the San Francisco 49ers. Ooh, shit. So... Who fucking knows? <laughs> Who fucking knows? Oh, you but that Brady to Rice. <laughs> oh, yes. my God. You think he'll come out, yeah, of, retirement? He'll come out of retirement? I think so. It's always been his dream to play with Absolutely. Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. we can get Rice and Terrell Owens back yeah. on this team. <laughs> yeah. Ocho Cinco. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, God. It's going to be a mess. Please don't do the same shit that Brett Favre did. Uh, that It just drives me nuts. It, at least it sounds like his contract with the Buccaneers <laughs> is up, right? Yeah, I think it was just a two-year deal. So at least he can't hold the team hostage like what Favre did. Yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, this is it just seems like such a an attention grab. It could be. I don't know anymore, <clears throat> especially not with, with some of these guys. But that's that. Moving on to Jackson Mahomes. I don't know if you guys saw this, but he can't stay out of the fucking news, man. I haven't seen this either. What the I fuck haven't is seen this. Oh, and, yeah. uh, that's because I don't seek him out. I don't either. I just get <laughs> flagged Bullshit. by this shit. Oh, no. They, people tag us in this kind of shit. But uh, anyways, Jackson oh, Mahomes. Oh, I don't follow us. Uh, okay. <laughs> that makes more sense then. Jackson Mahomes gets savagely turned down while trying to kiss a woman that he didn't know while his he was on a trip in Las Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Um. I really fucking hate this kid. Did but. he leave her a bad Uber review? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what he did? <laughs> Don't ever ride with Misty. Right. Uh, but that's enough talking about How that guy. How fucking entitled do you have to be? Pretty fucking entitled. I mean, like, that's the way he feels. I think now he's trying to just go out of his way to prove that he's, like, he's a heterosexual. Maybe. Because they had that video of him, like, grinding with that chick on the mechanical bull. Right. I think he's like, look, guys, look, I swear, don't suck dick. Look, look, look. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) Meanwhile, did you see the size of the dick on this bull? (laughs) Watch me. I wish he was inside me. (laughs) Watch me eat this peach. (laughs) Oh, God. And lastly, before we get to this. You guys want to go get tacos? <laughs> huh? Yeah. I like fish tacos. I didn't. Uh, but hey, la- Patrick. <laughs> uh, but speaking of uh, some more violence. Um, Patrick, will you buy me some fish tacos? <laughs> God damn it. I don't have any money. <laughs> you done? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I got to think of more shit while you're talking. <laughs> go ahead and talk. I, I'm not going to listen anyway. Okay. He la- probably is that guy that sounds like when it sounds weird that he says shit. Like. You guys got to want, want to go see some tits? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, you like, what did you just say? I love tits. <laughs> really like tits, guys. <laughs> Big old boobies right there. Oh, that's terrible. With the nibbles? <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but lastly, before we get to the Super Bowl, Adrian Peterson gets arrested on felony domestic violence charges at LAX, uh, and apparently it was involving his wife on the plane 
to the point to where that plane was actually taxiing, getting ready to take off, and turned the fuck around and took them back so they can be detained. Is his wife on the spectrum at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Did she try to open the fucking door? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I like to imagine that pilot just went, I will turn this plane around. <laughs> God damn. You think these guys are just misunderstood. And then they do something like this for the second time. You can't believe a fucking thing that Did they Did he actually lay hands on it? I heard it was just a loud argument. <laughs> no. I, 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 what I read in the article said verbal and physical. Yeah. So, but this is physical. I mean, it's sure. Just, you've seen that he pushed me. Yeah. Yeah. That that's that gets a little exaggerated sometimes. I, I Not all the time. I don't know what the rules are for when you're in air, but I know in this state that the there's two definitions of what constitutes domestic battery, and the first is to intentionally make contact with you know. There's a list of people who fall into the category with the intent to do harm to them. The other is to intentionally make contact with them in a rude or disrespectful manner. <laughs> Which is fucking stupid. <laughs> which, which, means, a fart. which means that <laughs> uh, beating the shit out of your wife for not having dinner ready <laughs> and farting and holding her head under the covers <laughs> are the same fucking thing <laughs> in the eyes of the law in the state of Kansas. <laughs> that makes us dumb. Uh-huh. Oh, all right. Well, but now I noticed in here it doesn't say what she did to deserve it. <laughs> that's that's what I always ask. Mm-hmm. Kind of well, what'd she do? Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on to the Super Bowl. It was uh, a lot of fun, in my opinion. But It um, had its uh, lulls, but for the yeah. most part, it's a pretty fucking even match game. It was. Uh, I wanted to point out that the Detroit Lions fan actually had Detroit Rams shirts made for the Super Bowl. Rooting mm. for... Uh, their one yeah. fan? Their, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gary over in accounting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, no, they sold shitloads of them. In fact, they're talking about making a banner, holding a banner up in in Detroit uh, before Matthew Stafford <laughs> winning the Super Bowl. Because that's, please tell me this is a joke. <laughs> it is a joke. Okay, but that's the closest that they're ever going to get with the Super Bowl. Um, but there was that um, during the game, an inactive Vernon uh, Hargreaves, I believe, is how it's pronounced. Hargraves, is a Hargraves. Yeah. Okay, runs out onto the field in shorts and slides, uh, costing the Bengals an unsportsmanlike penalty at the end of the half, and possibly costing them the possibility of scoring before they go into halftime. How shitty of a player do you got to be to get a penalty when you're not even in pads, <laughs> <laughs> not even on the active <laughs> roster, and you're fucking up. <laughs> How did you get fired when you weren't at work? <laughs> yeah. How are you going to get fired on your day off? <laughs> right. Uh, but that dude, uh, speaking of which, is going to be fired very, very soon, if he hasn't already. Mostly um, for his outfit. Right. Um, but uh, so first half, uh, I don't know if you guys saw anything. The only thing I saw in the first half was that ginormous. No, that was the second half. I apologize. Um, the ginormous offensive pass interference that was missed. Uh, the face mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, there was a <clears> lot <throat> of officiating blunders. At the first half, it was like first in the first half in the, like the third quarter, the fish, officials weren't throwing many flags. I think there was a total of three in, in that amount of time. And then that last play for the Bengals. The last first two. The, the first pass interference they called was ticky-tack. Oh, fine. big time. The last one, absolutely. Yeah. But that first one was ticky-tack. Yeah, it, it and that's kind of the the, the – things that are going around as far as the game goes. But you saw the game. You know the stats. Go watch those videos. Well, and I think that that ticky-tack one was to make up for a blatantly missed one the play before, wasn't it? It very well could have been, yeah. Um, but the best part of the game, in my opinion, was the fucking halftime show, baby. I fucking love it. And I know this is, like, nostalgic for Derek and myself, but this is more for me, not for you. I, no, I, I that was the people I listened to. That was those are the okay. people. Yeah, that was the people I, I listened know you to. Listen to rap, Scotty. Hold on. The best part you were about a Wheeler Walker Jr. kind of guy. That's no, no. In my opinion, the best part of the halftime show was fucking Fifty Cent dropping upside down, and nobody even knew he was gonna fucking be there. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to be there. He wasn't, and he was. Uh, I knew he was gonna be there. Uh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you tell us? Curtis told, told me not to tell you. Yeah. Curtis, yeah. Said he, he actually told me to tell you that I don't even talk to you. Oh, okay. Fine. He doesn't. He actually wants to host this podcast. <laughs> yeah. What does he? Sweet. All right. That'd be way cooler. I, I would. I told him no. <laughs> oh, thanks. You got a lot of confidence in me then. No, I don't. Oh. Um. 
I'm afraid he's going to bring the gunfire. And, <laughs> I mean, he's a fucking walking target. I and mean, he looks like he maybe be bring you a couple pizzas, too. I think he's changing his yeah, name to $2.50. Fat people are allowed to call him fat, I mm, guess. Well, Is that, was that we're allowed to make fun of him because he's fat? I don't know. Now. The fucker was hanging upside down with inversion boots and then <laughs> sat himself up <laughs> to get out of those inversion boots, which I'm pretty sure I can't do. Oh, yeah. no. I'm I'm sticking up for him. I I said that he looks bigger, but I don't know if that's fat. He looks like swole. If I had that kind of money, you know how fucking fat I would be. <laughs> right. About the same. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, but did, did the other thing that during the halftime show, did you see, um, and it doesn't surprise me one bit, but Snoop Dogg, uh, right before he went out on stage, like while he was in the little house thing that they were in, was sitting there like token up right before the show started. Mm-hmm. It's L.A. You can do that. Is anybody fucking surprised? Yeah, no. they're pissed. So why are you pointing it out? Yeah, they're mad at it. The first or the other thing that they said that they were mad at it was because he wore blue and he was throwing up uh, West Side. Yeah, because he's a crip and crip. Sure, and, whatever. Yeah, but this is known. Like, yeah, it's not fucking he, new he's, information. He's written several songs about it. Yes. So well, I don't. Know. The big he, thing is, is ever since that halftime show, mm-hmm. Crips numbers are up. Yeah, sure are. <laughs> a lot more people join the Crips now, and now the Bloods are pissed. They're right, yeah, sure. So they've been handing out a lot of those parking stickers, mm-hmm. right? Um, but what do you guys? What did you guys? I think break of for it? Crips, mm-hmm. right? Good, good bumper stickers. Mm-hmm. Crip what crossing, a, right? <laughs> yeah, signs going up. Yeah, yeah. Crip walk. Just a guy with a Crip doing a Crip walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what did you guys think? What did you think of the halftime show? I loved it. Yeah, I actually went out uh, into my non-heated garage to watch it because everybody wouldn't shut the fuck up. And I was like, I gotta go. I gotta watch this halftime show. And I was I'm looking not for gonna you. miss it. Yeah, I was looking for you because I was just like, "Where's Derek?" Because I want to see his reaction too to this. But. <clears throat> yeah, I, that was the one thing I had to hear. I didn't care. I've I still got to go back and watch all the commercials. Yeah, I did too. But that was the one thing I had to hear was the halftime show. I was not gonna miss that. Yep, Jeremy, what do you think? I really have no opinion on it. I. I could do without a halftime show. I go through the whole rest of the fucking season watching football games without a halftime show. Yeah. I don't need this one. Um, generally, it's a fucking letdown, and it's just people going out and sucking their own dicks, basically, mm-hmm. out there just flaunting themselves. Yeah. Um, usually lip syncing. Uh, mm-hmm. It usually fucks up the field, which I that is one of my <laughs> chief complaints about most halftime shows is that they forget that the first and foremost reason you're there is for a football game, which... By the way, a fairly important one yeah. at that. So you might want to keep the field in as good a shape as possible. I'm talking to you, Beyonce. Right. And your, your army of dancing whores. <laughs> God, that time when they were out there with their fucking stilettos just tearing up the fucking field. <laughs> God, that pissed me off. And I didn't even care who won the game. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, it was, it was fine. Okay. That's fair. I mean, I, I like the rap. I like the boogie. Good. I think the thing I enjoyed about it most now is getting on the Cake News' Facebook page after they posted about it and watching all these people just say, that is ridiculous, and <laughs> yeah. just getting all upset and angry about it. That's my favorite. Oh, whatever. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> How dare so, they? Think so, of the children. One sorry guy. you didn't enjoy this free fucking show. <laughs> they were like, think of the children. The children are watching this, and you've got a gangbanger out there, and the one guy underneath, one guy goes, Look, how do the, how does what, what are the children going to think? And one guy goes, "I grew up and saw Janet Jackson's titty, and I'm fine." <laughs> well, well, and at this age, um, the only way that those kids are ever going to know that that's a gangbanger is if you fucking tell them. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, that's the guy who hosts the fucking card sharks or whatever. Yeah, he was right. He was literally just on a show with Martha Stewart an hour he, before. Yeah, he's yeah. been teamed up with her for a while right. now. Um, but moving on to the rest of the game, or at least the end of the game, the final play of for the Bengals was kind of heartbreak to me. I was rooting for the Bengals right there, um, but pretty much throughout the second half, uh, Burrow could not be protected. No, he, he was getting his ass kicked. He that was first half. I made lit. the comment that I said that man, he hasn't been hit. He's yeah, really got kind of he escaped it, and then the say I don't know if the lineman just got fucking gassed. Yep. Or, or so, that was it. They changed the strategy, I think, is what I saw. But I mean, fuck. And the thing that sucks out of all, out of all of that, especially in the last their off uh, last offensive play of the game, was Jamar Chase had Jalen Ramsey beat. Like Jalen Ramsey was on. The he made Jalen Ramsey look like shit. He did. I mean, the only person that looked worse than Jalen Ramsey that entire game was Eli Apple, and mm-hmm. that's why the Rams ended up winning. Really made him look like shit when he turned his helmet sideways. <laughs> <laughs> 
Both yeah. touchdowns, though, were against yeah. fucking Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. And it should have been a third one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, that's one of those things. It's it's damn tough to find an open receiver when you're running for your life. Oh, right. sure. And that's he had hands in his face that whole – from from about halfway through the third quarter on. Yeah. If I you're mean, P. Ryan on that last play, though, you dive, dive for, that for that ball. ball. You don't just yeah. sit and look at that fucking ball like, ah, oh, damn. Yeah. He almost acted like he didn't know it was – there that it was fourth down it could have been, yeah it could have been why don't you let mixon run that ball i don't know oh, why yeah. let p run run it in the third on third down mixon was run the ball just fine well a I, lot of things I, it was a pass on the yeah it was fourth down yeah, wasn't it? It was fourth a, down saying third down third why don't down, you let why mixon run, oh, it? run yeah 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 and fourth down why don't you run it with mixon yeah well and, and that's one of those things though the rams had been kind of shutting down the running game fairly well and do you really want to take the ball out of joe burrow's hands yeah but after yeah, when getting, you've got run is probably your best option with just one yard to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and, and I almost thought P. Ryan got, may have uh, made it. Oh. May have made that first down. It was I don't know that there was enough evidence to overturn it. Right. But I kind of thought he got there. But yeah, so we we have new uh <coughs> Super Bowl champion in the Los Angeles Rams. Uh congratulations to them. I'm pumped for them. I'm glad that Stafford won one. Um <coughs> I'm I'm pumped that Cooper Cup got one. I'm even kind of pumped that uh OBJ got one. But like uh I, I I like pretty much all of the defensive lines. I can't remember his name, but the 40-year-old that's probably retiring at the end of the season is he got he got a Super He's Bowl. He's an offensive lineman. Offensive lineman. Uh left tackle. Remember. Oldest guy to ever start a left tackle. so <clears throat> And I can't remember his fucking name. I Don Meredith. Don, it was Don Meredith. Don Meredith. Uh, but, yeah, I, I pump, pump for the entire team. I, I loved it. Um, Oddly enough, because he got so swollen, it was 50 Cent. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, that's that. Yeah. Uh, have you heard what they're considering doing, or somebody has suggested doing? What? And this is the best bad idea I've ever heard. Um having a combination parade rams lakers dodgers because the lakers and dodgers didn't ha- get to have parades when they won their championships um, you know two years ago <laughs> they're gonna have it and, not making the playoffs parade. yeah the oh, lakers are barely in eighth position now and and the fucking dodgers got beat out last year you know nobody fucking remembers e- either of them winning their fucking championships but they didn't get to have parades because they don't have enough i guess no that is an awful fucking idea uh was also pumped van jefferson um i don't know if you guys saw that but he ended up leaving the super bowl celebration early because he had to get uh to the hospital because his wife was having their first child and they got a baby boy Uh, his life is ruined i know i know getting born on the super bowl man god he was so excited he spiked it (laughs) (laughs) Uh, and uh, another fun fact I found out after the Super Bowl, Jamar Chase had allegedly asked Joe Burrow's neighbor if he could buy their house. Yeah. He wants to be as close to that dude as possible to hopefully get back there and win a Super Bowl, which now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit, which uh, it just goes right into it. What? Hold up. There's one big subject we did not talk about. Oh, what do you got? Uh, that I don't see you having mentioned here in Real Shit or Horse Shit that okay. a lot of people want Derek's opinion on. Oh. Aaron Rodgers, yeah. MVP. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> you fucking kidding me. People were very excited to hear Derek's response to this. Well, go, I mean, come on. you got to back yourself up. What do you mean i got to back myself well, up? Well, the guy opinion. fucking held the entire goddamn team hostage before the season. Yeah. Said he wanted out, was going to leave, still is going to hold his team hostage. All the things he was tired of fucking Brett Favre doing every goddamn year he's doing. that he's doing. Right. It should have went to fucking – I'm surprised it didn't go to Brady. It should have probably went to Cup. But I'm surprised, Cup. I'm surprised it didn't go to Brady because after Brady had announced his retirement and I thought they'd give it to him, mm-hmm. but they didn't. Uh, but fucking the whole goddamn playing the victim shit, they're all out to get me because fuck that guy, man. He doesn't deserve shit. He never can get, he can't win a big game. He won one fucking Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Matt Stafford now has as many Super Bowls as Aaron Rodgers. This is correct. Yes. Fuck Aaron Rodgers, man. <laughs> okay. Matt. I definitely think it should have gone to cup. That's where uh, it to, to lead to lead the league right. in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns on a team that, through large chunks of the season, did not have a very consistent quarterback to be that consistent of a receiver. Yeah, you deserve it. And the MVP has never gone to a pass catcher, a wide receiver, nor tight end has ever won NFL MVP. 
Yeah. I agree with the, the Cooper Cup deal. But yeah. anyways, moving And on. he's a white guy. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> moving on to real shit or I guess Aaron Rodgers is too. Yeah, it's so, true. So, you know, win-win. Um, <laughs> I, wanted to pull, I wanted to ask this question because now Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, we have talked on this show before, Derek especially, about teams after they lose the Super Bowl the following year, mm-hmm. they have a bad year. Um, it kind of – I mean, the Chiefs did – okay but not super bowl kind of you know team they got got the playoffs they did but do you think real shit or horse shit the Bengals will be another team that gets to the super bowl and is not good the following year hmm that's tough yeah buddy i'm gonna say horse shit because i'm not confident in that division okay um I think as long as they shore up the line in the mm-hmm. off season, they're going to have to draft well <laughs> and get one or two free agents. And there's going to be a lot of teams competing for mm-hmm. for offensive linemen and free agency. I think it's been with the year when Mah- or was it last year when Mahomes got his ass stomped. Yep. And then they, and they totally revamped the whole fucking line. Exactly. And I, it's going to be the same thing this year. I think probably losing that Super Bowl was better for them. Because if they don't get to Burrow, if they kind of he kind of gets through, gets a couple of sacks, and yeah. is able to run away from all that shit, I think maybe they just hey, we won with it. Let's just keep. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> but I think now when they're like, he got his fucking ass kicked, and then you see that last play, what they would have won, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think I think they get. I don't know if they get back to the Super Bowl, but I think it's. I think they have a similar trajectory, kind of like the Chiefs did. Uh, I'm gonna say this is also horseshit. I'm I'm saying it right now. They make it at least to the AFC Championship game. <clears throat> that's that's because I agree. I you agree still with got you. The Bills too. I know and yeah. don't care. I, I have more confidence in that that core of young guys. And if you put Burr, if you if you just protect that motherfucker, he you would have won that fucking game. Yeah. When it all came down to it, you have the tools to win a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And as the long, core is there for sure. Exactly. You've you've got <clears throat> running backs galore. You've got excellent wide receivers. Your defense is not, you know, just you're not average. You're above average defense. I have more confidence in them next year than I ever have with a team losing the Super Bowl. And I say they go, they may even go to the Super Bowl again. That's horseshit. This is horseshit. They also had a backup tight end that game. They had Uzo- Ozoma was out. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if they had Gronk. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I think it's horseshit as well. I think Burroughs uh, strikes me as the kind of guy who um, is just going to get more determined mm-hmm. by this. And I think he hated losing. I think he's one of those guys that he hates losing more than he loves winning. Probably. And you could just kind of see it in his face. He wasn't depressed or down on himself. He was pissed Yeah, that they lost. He was the last one to leave the locker he, room. Uh, yeah, and and I think that that guy goes. I think he probably puts in a lot of time at the fucking gym and on the practice field in the off season, and I think he's just going to come back even more determined to win. I agree. And <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to get back there, but I think that they certainly walk away with that fucking division, mm-hmm. and they're going to make a deep run in the playoffs for yep, sure. I agree. Uh, next, Barring one, any awful injuries. Correct, yeah. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit, we should have had a hologram of Tupac during the Super Bowl halftime show. I'm going to go real shit, but you also should have had one of Easy e Yeah. <laughs> that would have been fucking sick. Yep. Uh, they did have a little bit of homage to him. I don't know if you caught it. I didn't. Uh, there at the very end when Dre was on the piano, mm-hmm. uh, he started the, uh, with the uh, I Ain't Mad At You. Dun, 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 dun. He did that. That's cool. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is real shit. I was really hoping for this all the whole, ever since it was announced. I agree. Uh, this is real shit. I, I, I w- really wish they would have took out Mary J. Blige and Kendrick Lamar told him to go sit the fuck down and put JLo up there. And I don't know. JLo. I, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Put JLo up there. No. Yeah. Why wasn't not? she just in it? Yeah. A couple of years ago with Shakira. I'll put yeah. somebody else up there. I don't give a fuck. Just not. I'm not a big Mary J. Blige guy, and I don't like Kendrick Lamar. He's like, put Nick Carter up there. No. Mary, no. Mary J. Blige showed off some fucking pipes. She fuck did. Yeah. She, she did. did. She did a great job. I'm just not a fan of her music as well. She's thick too. She is. Mm-hmm. And she's <laughs> her. Her and Eminem are over ten years sober now. Both of them are. I think Eminem is fourteen years, and Mary J. Blige is twelve. I think that's right. Okay. Good for them. How about you, Jeremy? 
What's the question? <laughs> we should have had a hologram of Tupac during the Super Bowl halftime show. Um, that's horseshit. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to see one. <laughs> okay, fine. I, I, again, I don't want a fucking halftime show. Right. Because all it does is spark debate over whether or not it was good. <laughs> and I really don't want to read that shit. Fine. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. While the Super Bowl officiating was poor the entire game, both teams benefited equally and shouldn't complain. Yeah, I give it that. Okay. I mean, I, I this year I don't think that that call cost them the game by any means. I mean, it they got they got away with one with that uh-huh. OPI uh-huh. that didn't get. So no, uh, I don't think there was anything that was just like outside of that offensive pass interference. You're like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Yeah, I, I I agree with the first part of that. I think that both teams benefited pretty much equally. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that you can't bitch because you can, first of all, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Secondly, though, we have been saying that there is a problem uh, with officials and oh, yeah. they need to be compensated, but it also needs to be a full-time job. We've said that on this show. And I think that they do an excellent job, uh, but whenever it's in a Super Bowl game, they need to be on, everybody needs to be on the same page and they need to be cons- consistent. And for the most part, they were in the first half, but it was just like they went into the locker room and decided maybe we're going to change it up, and that fucked with both teams. So I do think that I agree with this for the most part. Jeremy? Uh, I'm going to say that it's uh, it's real shit, that they, they really can't complain. <clears throat> in fact, had this been during the regular season, there was a few times after plays were over where guys got chippy. There was a fucking fight that broke out on the sidelines at one point that during the course of the regular season – they would have not only thrown flags, but there probably would have been some ejections. So if anything, they were not calling some shit that really should have been called on both sides. Uh, they were calling this one looser and actually just letting the guys fucking play. Until the end of the game. Until the end of the game, yeah. Right. And they got ticky-tacky a little bit. <clears throat> exactly. I don't yeah. like that. Just leave it. Yeah, I'm, well, that's what I mean. And I, I almost wonder if there wasn't maybe a little bit of pressure to make sure the home team won. <laughs> maybe. I mean, it's second year in a row, the fucking home team's got to win the Super Bowl. That's it had true. never happened before, and now two years in a row. I call bullshit. Something's <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> uh, next one. It's Real- maybe the least corrupt thing about the fucking NFL. <laughs> anyway, go on. Real shit or horse shit, Aaron Donald should have won the Super Bowl MVP. Horse shit. Really? Yeah. Four tackles, two sacks, nothing... I mean, yeah, he made that integral or integral important tackle there at the end of the game, mm-hmm. but I don't think you give him. I don't think you give him. I don't think he made that big of a difference. He was quiet, very quiet there the first, first half. half. Yeah, and Grant, you're not seeing him getting double teamed and shit like that either. But mm-hmm. I just, I think you've got to give it. I think it went to the right spot. I think it goes to cup. Uh, I agree with you. I think it does go to cup. This is uh, this is horse shit. However, if OBJ did not get hurt. He would have got it, I think. He would have exploded. He would have had the game of his life, one Super Bowl MVP. He would have had two to three touchdowns. And yeah. So he had that's what two, I two, right? Could he have gotten the third. One. He had one. One. I thought he got two. No, he had one, three receptions, and I think it was like seventy five yards. Okay. And was out before the first half. Right. So. Maybe I just watched the first one twice. Maybe. Because he had two TVs going. Right. I have three TVs going, and I'm I'm very fast. <laughs> what uh, about what do you think, Jeremy? Um, no, C- Cooper Cup should have gotten MVP, and and unfortunately, there's a lot of things with defensive linemen, immeasurable contributions that they make to the game. I mean, while yeah, he only had he had two sacks, which is great, only four tackles, but you really can't measure the number of times that he got into the backfield, that he rushed, rushed. plays, that he just dis- yeah. distract or disrupted <clears throat> shit in the backfield. But unfortunately, that's not tangible stats that they can really keep track of all that well. And for the measurable stats, yeah, Cooper Cup. I mean, shit, he had like five receptions on that one drive, didn't he? It, yeah, he, 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 he was played. really kind of quiet in the first half. They don't so. win the game without him. No. Nope. So uh, last real shit or horse shit. It's a little bit different one, but I wanted to bring it up. I just actually I just, just did um, real shit or horse shit. Uh, OBJ, I talked about, exited early in the Super Bowl due to a knee injury. Well, now players are blaming the turf to be the sole cause of these very knee injuries. Real shit or horse shit, turf should be banned in the NFL. 
Horse shit. Okay. I mean, you can blame fucking shitty grass and shit for the same thing. I understand that. Yeah, I mean, no, I think it's horse shit. I, there's plenty of players that don't tear their ACL and MCL and all that shit on to play on turf their whole career. And there are plenty of players who have torn their ACL playing on grass. Yep. I, I, I'm with you. <clears throat> um, I'll be honest with you. I don't know enough about it. I, I, can only kn- I can only see what I've been told by the pros, um, people like uh, George Kittle, uh, OBJ said something about it, um, but there's a lot of other players that are star players that are claiming that they are more susceptible to serious season-ending injury on turf than they are on natural grass. Here's the thing with OBJ, though. If he doesn't like turf, he didn't have to sign there. I, I know, <laughs> you know but, what I mean? but like, you still got to play there, and, and and if you have a season-ending injury and you play away and, and it's on a turf, then what? Because a lot of people were saying that about uh, I believe, actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Joe Burrow last year for the same exact thing. I'm not saying that it should be banned, but I think that the way that groundskeepers, and we know a lot about it, one of our buddies, because you working at the stadium. I don't know the groundskeeper. Oh, okay, I do. But the way that they're taking care of these fucking natural grasses and shit like that, it's fucking amazing. They're a lot safer than Soldier Field was, you know, or is. Soldier well, yeah, Field shit. Yeah, they're yeah. they're not playing on the uh, the old AstroTurf either. Mm-hmm. That that shit was just carpet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they've made a lot of advances to it. I know at one time anyway, most of these fields were they were making them out of uh, ground up tires, yeah. old yeah. tires, yeah. yeah, which kind of responded a lot more like dirt, and it actually made it much easier for them to. Uh, check when a player dragged his toes and shit because it would kick, kick that up stuff kick up yeah yeah it would leave a, a nice wake behind it um they need to i think it would certainly behoove them to continue to try and make advancements in it to right. make it more like natural grass but i think really if you want to keep a nice looking field football is really it's too hard that, on on grass especially given the fact that they play during a time of year where grass really doesn't grow it's dormant and so like in i know at arrowhead a lot of times there's big bald patches and shit on the field in between the the 40s baby yeah it looks like shit yep you get in fact i think everything should be a dual purpose stadium where they have a baseball field too and they should keep the infield dirt yep on there those are my favorite fucking fields (laughs) god those are confusing to watch it's like where the fuck is he at on the field (laughs) when you get one really sloppy rainy or muddy game Uh like that and then it's It's, how do you bring that back right it's like those, those fucking games are i it's like Okay, he was in bounds, but it was foul. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and in baseball too, they pull the tarp. You can't do that in the NFL. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Well, that is real shit or horror shit uh, for this week and the sports for that matter. Now we get to move on to some fun. This is my new favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call bad advice with Jeremy, where we like to take some uh, situations that you listeners are in to where you can send us uh, your situation on Instagram. Follow us at laughing on the sidelines there and send us a message of those of that particular situation. And Jeremy will give you the worst possible advice that he possibly can Mm -hmm. this week we have one from a gentleman named wolf mueller uh he writes jeremy i am just ending my first year of being self-employed and i am looking to save some money business accountants are are very expensive and i was hoping to rely on you for some affordable tax advice from a true professional like yourself what's your advice well, I don't know what I'm a professional of. Mueller, who is this guy's name? Yeah. Uh, sounds like a real jackass. <laughs> um, here's, here's the thing. Well, you came to the right place because uh, along with uh, NASA history and woodworking, one of my true passions in life is business accounting, followed very closely by tax law. <laughs> and so, yes, I can certainly help you with this. Uh, got, got a few steps for you to take. Uh, number one, switch to a cash only business i don't know what it is you're doing but while credit cards may be easier to do uh they can also be very easily tracked and uh you want to you want to have as much cash business as possible it doesn't leave a paper trail uh two you're going to want to get an offshore bank account uh, preferably in the cayman islands or switzerland get a numbered account now what does that mean 
I don't know. But I've heard about it in movies, and it seems to be what uh, people do when they don't want to pay a lot of taxes. Um, now, granted, this is going to make making your cash deposits kind of a bitch. Uh, but, you know, I, you didn't ask me to save on travel expenses. You <laughs> asked me how to save on your taxes, and, and that's what you're going to have to do. Um, three, I don't know if you have people working for you, uh, but if you do, uh, they're all disabled. Um, you might be thinking, well, no, they're not. You're not listening. Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, just a small investment at your local uh, like DAV or Goodwill. You can usually find some old used wheelchairs, crutches. Uh, if nothing else, maybe get some eye patches. <laughs> and uh, if anybody happens to start snooping around, you know, you have drills on what to do. You know, you put on the eye patch, you put on the sling, you get in the wheelchair, you get the crutches, the cane, whatever. Uh, everybody is disabled. You get a nice little tax credit for when you hire that, whether it be physically disabled, mentally disabled, or a woman, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> they, they have some sort of disability, uh, which leads me to my next thing. Uh, don't hire women. Um, when questioned, uh, women tend to cave. They're very loose-lipped, uh, both upper and lower. And, um, yeah, that can, that can be bad for you when they start asking questions. So they uh, get them back in the kitchen where they belong. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, just uh, basically, you sound like a very hard worker. So uh, the fourth thing, that, or fifth thing, I guess, that you want to do is... Um, you're going to want to, you, you're a hard worker, so basically your life is your work, which means everything in your life is a tax deduction, <laughs> including shit for your kids. Uh, I'm sure I'm pretty sure the IRS doesn't actually check up on this. I know them. They're pretty fucking lazy. Um, and if all else fails, if the IRS does come after you for any of this, the one thing, the, the ace in your sleeve is that, uh, just remember, the 16th Amendment was never properly ratified, and that is an airtight defense that has been used many times over. Just ask Wesley Snipes. They they really can't do nothing with that, and that's going to hold up every time in court. And um, also, it might help. Uh, something that you could do, watch these people on YouTube. Um, declare yourself a sovereign citizen. Uh, <laughs> Look that up on YouTube if you've never seen it. This is a group of winners that uh, basically renounce their American citizenship and declare themselves, their, their entire bodies, its own nation. And therefore, they're not subject to federal laws and therefore don't have to pay taxes at all. So uh, you just follow those steps, man. I think you're going to be all right. <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> ah, man, Wolf, I hope that, uh, hope that helps you out. Um, thank you very Look much. Look forward to seeing you in the mug shot tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Jeremy. My pleasure. For your bad advice. Have you ever seen those Sovereign Citizen videos? I, yeah. They're a lot of fun, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. You, it's, it's like you can just see the delusion washing over them. <laughs> and they're so convinced it's going to work. Yep. All right. And it does every time. Yep. Uh, moving on now to overrated or underrated. We take random things and say whether or not we believe they are overrated or underrated. You also can make suggestions to this uh, at our Instagram page at laughing on the sidelines. First one, overrated or underrated, having a three-hour debate with Stephen Hawking. You want me to go? Yeah. Uh, that is uh, underrated. Um <laughs> I've never actually gotten to debate Stephen Hawking, but as a kid, I did have a speaking spell. <laughs> and I could play with that thing for hours, which I'm assuming is basically the same thing. You could really win a debate with him now because he's dead. Right. But the nice thing about having a debate with Stephen Hawking is that he is a theoretical physicist, which means that everything that he argues and proves with his math is still just a theory. So you can always win that argument by going, yeah, but how do you know? <laughs> oh, poor guy. I'm, I'm sure he's, well. He did all right for himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, I'm going to go, this is overrated, just because I would get annoyed after 15 to 20 minutes of him trying to debate me in that voice. And the other thing is, I don't know a fucking thing about space, so I'm out. It, that actually makes you more suited to argue with <laughs> to him. argue with him. The less facts you have, the better you are to, to have a debate with a guy like that. Okay. Well, I still think it's overrated. How about mm -hmm. you, Derek? 
I'm going to go overrated as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to know what the fuck he's talking about. Right. And uh, I don't like – I can't fucking sit and argue with somebody for probably more than about five minutes before mm. I'm just like, fuck off. <laughs> and I don't think I could have the heart to tell a fucking cripple to fuck off. Especially when he's using the voice box thing. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't really have a choice on that. Uh, <laughs> but you know what you could do? What? Go over to the jukebox, play the national anthem, and tell him to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's being very disrespectful. Get get really emotional about it. You win that argument. Right. <laughs> All right. Next one. This is from a fan. This is from at AMB underscore 56. They want to know, overrated or underrated, tree houses. Underrated. Okay. Though they are probably not for my weight requirement anymore. <laughs> I'm going to say they are, they are very – I always wanted one as a kid, and I never had one. And now you got these guys that build these elaborate fucking ones. You, uh, yeah, that would I would live in a treehouse now. If my wife kicks me out, that's what I'm doing. I'm they, building the treehouse. They are so, I'll be in the backyard. They are, they are so underrated, especially now. Like, like that's where it's stemming from is these kids that had them or really wanted a treehouse when they were a kid, but they had you know no dad to go out and build them one. Now they are growing up, and now they <laughs> have just adult. Got real sad. They didn't have a dad. <laughs> exactly. Now they have adult money, and now they're going and spending like tens of thousands of dollars on these very comfortable man caves, only they're man trees. They're up in trees, and they're fucking awesome, underrated. Okay. Jeremy. Um, as a kid, I would have said uh, underrated. Um, not bragging, but I did have a dad, <laughs> and uh, he, he helped me build kind of a small tree house for you know, two people okay. could fit in there. It's probably dangerous as fuck. But <laughs> now as an adult, I'm going to say very overrated because you know what's really cool? Ground houses. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can have all the comfort and amenities of one of these kick-ass tree houses <laughs> without the bullshit of being in a fucking tree. <laughs> if I want to walk out of my front door, I don't got to go down a goddamn ladder. I can just walk out. <laughs> <sighs> I guess you're right. I mean, <laughs> I like luxury as much as the next guy, and I can put it in a house that's firmly on the ground, and I don't have to worry about falling out. Okay. Fair enough, Jeremy. Well, damn right it's fair enough. It's more than fair enough. Right. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Walking around the house in your underwear. Overrated. I don't do that now. I know what I look like in my underwear, and it's fucking disgusting. So I don't want to put my wife through that, any yeah. small children, anyone that just so happens to be driving by and the windows are open. Mm -hmm. Nobody. That's fucking gross. Yeah. Uh, this is overrated. I, I, I don't like not being in some kind of, like, clothes. I, I, mm -hmm. like, I like sweatpants and pajama pants, and I don't care. But I'm with Derek. I don't want anybody to see me walking around in my underwear. I mean, skid marks if I'm wearing white underwear. It's not. Oh, you got to wipe your ass better. Well, yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's really on you. That's not the underwear's fault, it's, Scotty. It's it's a different kind of problem that I have. So no. And how do you get shit stains in the front of your underwear? That's what I want to uh, know. No shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, but yeah, overrated. Somebody shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> how about you, um, Jeremy? Yeah. Uh, okay. Even if I were incredibly in good shape, um, and me walking around in uh, in underwear might be sexy, you know what's not sexy? Being ill prepared. <laughs> Fires happen, <laughs> and you may have to run out of that fucking house at any time, or there could be an intruder that you got to wrestle with, or whatever. And whatever that is, I want to have some pants. <laughs> yeah, you you know what? I just thought of something else. Have you ever like? We're getting ready to take a shower. Did you figure out where your dad is? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever fig Did you ever be in those one situations whenever you're get taking a shower or p getting ready to take a shower, you're already wet and declothed, nope. and then you find out, shit, I don't have a towel, and you've got to like walk through the house to where your wife keeps the towels and then do it, and you kind of walk through like you're all being stealthily because you don't want somebody to just – at the stroke of miracle, look through the fucking windows that have a partially closed drapes and see you naked in your own fucking house. Usually I go, hey, <laughs> bring me a towel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Works every fucking time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get, finish up in the kitchen. <laughs> go to where you were doing laundry and get me a clean towel. <laughs> Not um, that towel, my Scooby-Doo towel. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I need one for my hair. 
fine. I, I do like to do that thing where I wrap my hair up. Do you yeah. really? Because it's just so stupid. The the the, the, the <laughs> one good thing. Hair. Right. That's <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. He doesn't get the joke. No, he doesn't. Um, <sighs> the one thing though, I I do actually enjoy doing this, and people can't see in my house. Remember my hobby, mind my own fucking business. Right. Uh, I I like to keep it that way, and I like to keep my business my business. So I have blinds and shit, and I don't care for natural light. Right. Um. I'm not a big natural light guy, especially PBR uh, too. I don't like it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but no, I do like from time to time where I will be sitting there watching TV with my wife and I will get up as though I have to go to the bathroom and then just come back out in my underwear <laughs> just to fuck with her. <laughs> just, just what, what the hell? <laughs> that is kind of fun for me, but. Once the fun's over, I go put pants back on. The right. weird thing I'll do is, like, if I get home from work and I'm changing out of my work clothes, uh-huh. I'll get my pants off. Or if we're getting ready to go somewhere and I've got, like, my pajama pants on, I'll throw my pajama pants off. And I'm like, all right, I'll be right back. I'm going to take a shit before I put pants on. Uh-huh. And my wife's like, why? Well, why am I just going to put them on, pull them back down, and then put them, pull them back up again? Like, I'm going to... I'm gonna. That's just sound logic, really. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> shit before I put my fucking pants on. The that's fact <laughs> that she doesn't understand the logic behind yeah. this really says more about her than anything. <laughs> right. All right. Next one. Mm-hmm. Uh, overrated or underrated? A mime having a stroke. Underrated. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, to be able to commit to that uh-huh. bit and not say a word. <laughs> I mean, you talk about fucking commitment. That's fantastic. <laughs> And I don't know how he's going to do that wall thing with only not having the use of his left arm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. The tug of war. Oh, yeah. Awful. That's but, after the stroke, though. So, yeah. But, I mean, he's committing to the bit. Right. And it's underrated for yeah. me uh, as well. Jeremy? What kind of stroke are we talking <laughs> Either one, buddy. Is he miming jerking off? <laughs> Is he having that kind of stroke? He could be. Uh, Is he struggle with the east or the west? Uh, both. Mm. To the, whichever woman he loves the best. Right. <laughs> now, I wonder if Clarence Carter was a mime, would his woman be a mime, or would she still be able to say, ooh, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter, <laughs> ooh, shit, Clarence Carter? <laughs> or would she just have to mime that? Probably that. I like to think she would. Um, <laughs> now, uh, where was I at with all this before we talked? Yeah, I, I think it would just be great to silently just watch half of somebody's face sag <laughs> and just watch that white makeup just start running down onto your neck. And yeah, I, that night I kind of enjoy the idea of a mime in pain. <laughs> great. Just to draw on a teardrop. Yeah. Uh, I be, want, does it, when a mime has that teardrop, does that mean they killed somebody in prison? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Okay. I was just thinking, like maybe that uh, it's like split emotions, right? Because because like mimes have one their their lips kind of like in a smile, but whenever they have a stroke, it droops, and so it's mixed emotions. Mm-hmm. They're sad and happy at the same time. Kind of trippy. It's like that mask, right? right. <laughs> happy face, sad smiling. face. Yeah, right. Uh, that's the joy of the theater. That's right. right there. Uh, last one, overrated or underrated, male enlargement pills. Overrated. Why? Why? I don't think there's any pill that's going to help me <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I think the damage is done. Think about the only enlargement thing that I can do is drop it about 70 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, male Penis enlargement pills. Male enhancement. Male enhancement. That's what it is. Male enhancement okay, that's pills. a different deal altogether. What? I thought you were talking about like those novelty pills that say they're going to make your dick bigger. Those. Yeah. Well, male enhancement pills make you oh. get harder, easier. No, and no. Oh, yeah. We're talking dick. We're penis growers. Yeah, penis grower. Enlargement pills. Um, first of all, and, and last of all, if these fucking things worked... Everybody would be fucking eating the shit out of these things. That's exactly like whenever a woman says that, uh, I, you know, a, a big buff guy is great, but I just really like a funny guy. That's bullshit. It's uh-huh. all because bullshit. you'd see like open mic night would have like 90 names on the list and like exactly. Gold's gym would be empty. Right. Yeah, exactly. So no, because if these fucking things worked, we'd all have huge dicks and we'd be perfectly fine with it. So these are totally overrated. I. Wasn't it uh, Dave Attell who talked about the the unrealistic 
ideas that that women have for men that i want a guy who's who's in shape who loves the outdoors who likes animals but has a good sense of humor you mean a rodeo clown? Because <laughs> that's what you're going to get. That's what you described. Um, I still love his monster cocks bit. I don't remember that one. Where he talks about how these, there's a porno called Monster Cocks. And it's these giant dicks that are as big as arms. And if it was my cock, it just looked like it was pointing to her eye. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get jokes. Um. Anyway. Yeah, they don't work. So, yeah, they're overrated. Fair enough. Not that I've tried <laughs> or nothing, but, yeah, they don't work. Right. Now they enhance the pills. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they do. <laughs> Jeremy, your neck's bleeding. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <coughs> 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 that is some harsh water. <coughs> That's gin. <laughs> is my neck really bleeding? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, anyways, that is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> underrated. I just want to make sure nobody uses this mic again. <laughs> I always like the expressionless cough. Just, ah. <laughs> uh, so anyways, right. that's overrated or underrated for this week. Again, same thing. You can have make suggestions uh, at uh, Laughing the Sidelines on Instagram. Now, questions and preguntas. Moving on, same thing. Suggest go to the same place. I'm broken record here. First question. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of blank. Absurdity. Okay. I like it. There's ten Fast and the Furious movies. <laughs> ten. Yeah. That's absurd. Include Hobbs and Shaw, sure. Yeah. That's absurd. It is. There's five Final Destination movies. <laughs> That's absurd. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is the fucking final? That's, you said it the first four fucking times. Why, is, why do we believe you on the fifth? Right. Fuckers. Uh, let's see. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Uh, let's see. My country tis of the sweet land of obesity. Because that's real fucking shit. Did you sit next to it? No, I well. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, Biz Marquis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old country, you. <laughs> you got what I need. All right. Next question. What ended your last relationship? Funny or dark? I don't care. Jeremy? Both. Uh, I didn't know that she was dark. I was too good at fucking. All right. <laughs> For sure. I'll, um, I'll go dark. All right. Age of consent. Oh, mm. fuck. <laughs> yeah. Once she got there, you didn't want it anymore? Exactly. <laughs> God. Uh, now the other one. You got that one? I'm, I just said I, that was a choice. Uh, okay, fine. Um, mine, Mine's kind of a mystery, man. She just kind of up and left. Uh, I, I saw her one night and you can't figure out why. No, no, I, I can't I have an idea. I no, I can't. Like, I mean, her family left and then, uh, we went to bed and, and, uh, they, they can't seem to find where she, uh, where she is. I mean, where mm. she went. Hmm. Yeah. So that was that. She took a long walk. Huh? Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Went to go get the milk. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Okay. Jeremy. Uh, well, it was pre manscaped years. Oh, really? Yeah. She just couldn't take it anymore. Oh, it's a poor thing. <laughs> Ouch. It was more I broke it off with her because she kept wanting to braid them. <laughs> well, you didn't let her do the Padawan French braid. braid? No, I didn't, Scotty. Oh, that's your favorite. Okay. Sounds more like it's your favorite. It is. Why it is. do you have a favorite way that I have my pew? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jeremy. It just is artistic. Up. That's art. <clears throat> uh, next question. What is Batman's guilty pleasure? Okay. I think it's cocaine. Really? And here's why. Uh, he was eight years old. Mm -hmm. His parents were murdered right in front of him. <laughs> Inherited billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. No way he didn't have a drug problem. No that, fucking way. That, that, How does he stay up all night and fight crime, Scotty? I don't How know. does he do it? I don't know. Cocaine. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I th Eric you know, Clapton style. Right. Mm-hmm. I think, Without the baby. I, yep. 
I think he blares into club by 50 Cent in the Batmobile. <clears throat> what is it with you and 50 Cent? Fucking, he's awesome. He awesome. Just, he's he's not Batman awesome. I, he may actually be Batman. Mm. They said the new Batman is black. No, he's not. It's Robert Pattinson. Oh, no, it's Superman. Yeah, Superman. Different, different, different guy. How about you, Jeremy? I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Are we still doing a podcast? Is this still recording? Are you just fucking with me? Yeah, kind of. Jesus Christ. You know I don't listen to the podcast. I think you're just fucking with me. I am. Uh, but what is Super. what is Batman's guilty pleasure? Uh, snuff porn. Oh, really? And in fact, that's actually, he paid a guy to oh. take out his parents so he could see some live action shit. Oh, well, there uh-huh. you go. Good stuff. All right. Next question. Strange items on sale at the prison gift shop. There. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm going to go with an autographed 8 by 10 of the guy who wrote Jeffrey Epstein's suicide note. <laughs> oh, yeah. True. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Uh, I think in the gift shop, uh, the inmates can save up for uh, super soakers and water balloons. I think okay. I think that's you know, have fun in prison, man. Sure. Yeah. Because otherwise, prison sucks. I've I've yeah. been in jail. Yeah. <clears throat> there's there's no games. Right. There's no carnival rides. Yeah. There's no clowns. Yeah. No nothing. I mean, it really is boring. They sometimes you get a book. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Can, can you imagine just like super soaker water water fights and stuff? I mean, somebody's bound to get like pistol whipped by one of those motherfuckers, but still. <laughs> what about a hand buzzer? <laughs> yeah. one, of the, one of those guys spends his commissary on that. <laughs> hey, man, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopee cushions. Yeah. <laughs> Chattering teeth. <laughs> Symbol monkeys. Yeah. Uh, I got you, two of those. How about you, Jeremy? I'm going to go with pre lubed shanks. <laughs> <laughs> Easy concealment. Oh, right. See, I was thinking more for the guests and not for the actual. Well, yeah, that's how they sneak it into them. (laughs) All right. It's a very special handshake then. Right. All right. Last question. We will release all of the hostages, but first we want blank. Hmm. A 1998 Chevy Lumina and the entire Wu-Tang Clan. (laughs) Fuck yeah. Um... Let's see. We will release all of the hostages, but first we want you to get all of the children the fuck out of here. Get them out. That's mine. Jeremy? What? The (laughs) children are annoying the terrorists, so they need to get them out first. They took kids hostage? Yes. That's on them. Well, that's their wouldn't. I wouldn't care if they killed everybody in there. I'm not going to reward bad behavior. (laughs) Okay. You fucking sit there and think about the consequences of your actions, you dumb fuck. <laughs> I hate a lazy terrorist. Yeah. What when about you, does. Jeremy? Um, fuck, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I actually haven't <laughs> given this uh, any thought. Uh, I'm going to go with a, uh, a box of Russell Stover's chocolates, but <laughs> only the coconut ones. <laughs> <laughs> but you hate coconut. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a fucked up thing to ask for. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know they're fucking crazy. Right. They'll do it. <clears throat> All right. We want chairman of the board on DVD. <laughs> we will release the hostages in exchange for more hostages. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I want a hot air balloon. That's what I want. <laughs> for a better bullhorn. <laughs> Get me a Zeppelin. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I want to drive the Zamboni. <laughs> Oh, get me on the Zamboni and nobody gets hurt. Oh. Anyways, so that is our questions and preguntas. Get away, Zamboni. <laughs> 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 Just fucking street. Uh, <laughs> freezing the <laughs> shit out that of That way they can't chase them because they'll be slipping, slipping all over the fucking that's place because now the road's all icy. That's right. Fuck yeah, uh, I thought this through. You did. <laughs> uh, I should go kidnap somebody. <laughs> take some yeah. hostages. Yeah. Yeah. I want to drive that fucking Zamboni. That's <laughs> All uh, right, that is questions and preguntas for this week. But now we get to move on to a great part of every single episode that we do. This is what we like to call the laughing on the sideline draft. Oh, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Um, who won? Last I did. You did last week? Kick the shit out of you guys. Yeah, my, my list was kind of weak. Our dumb fucking Damn. listeners got it right for a change. They did. They did. So that means that uh, I'm back to my normal ways. I get first pick this week. Derek gets the sandwich picks, and Jeremy gets the championship picks. So we're this week, we are drafting our, what are we, favorite or just a, a, a popular athletes who have done serious jail time. Sound good? Uh, is it the ones where Glad got arrested? Sure. All right. Not Glad. I mean, I'm not Glad. I, yeah, you know, just just. Do um, we have to have liked the athlete? You don't have to. No, nah, not really. Okay. My first good. Pick, my first pick is a fucking doozy. Sure. So I get first pick, and uh, I, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, Aaron Hernandez. All right. Okay. That's mine. Love it. And uh, Derek, you get second pick. Uh, I'm gonna go with Michael Vick. Yep. Figures. Okay. Jeremy. Mike Tyson. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have got it if it came back anyway. Mm-mm. And of course, O.J. Simpson. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Muhammad Ali. Ooh. Mm. I totally forgot about that. Draft evasion. Mm hmm. Yeah. Did he actually spend time in jail? Because yeah, he, he was acquitted. Pretty sure he went to jail. I thought he was bailed out fairly quickly. But <clears throat> doesn't matter. Neither here nor there. Oh, where'd my list go? <clears throat> so I'm going to go with Plaxico Burris. Okay. And do, 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 do. I loved this guy. I'm going to go Allen Iverson. Those are mine. All right. Derek? I got to go with the uh, old faithful Daryl Strawberry. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Jeremy, you get My two. Turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just because he's such a prick. Pete Rose. <coughs> yeah. Did he go to jail? Oh, yeah. Did yeah, he? he did over a year in prison for because he didn't claim taxes on on the fucking money that he won gambling. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Hmm. This is going to be kind of a sad one. Uh, Ruben Hurricane Carter. Oh, oh that's, a, that's good a good one. Damn it. That's a really good one. And it's really sad. The listeners won't know that whole story. Yeah. But um, if you haven't seen the movie The Hurricane with Denzel Washington, it's it's long, but yeah. it's it's excellent. And that's a true story. It is a true story, and he was quite clearly innocent. Right. But he still got arrested in did time, so yep. he's on my list. Right. Uh, well, there, or did, who was your – oh, Pete Rose and, and then who? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. Derek. God, this is hard. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's not very many You should that feel are, this. Ah, <laughs> male enhancement pills. There's right. not very many that are really in – like big athletes uh, that I'm going through. You'd be surprised. I'm seeing a couple of them. Well, I don't think he would be surprised because he's going through them. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm on a different site. I think you might be. I'm trying to get this to load. Are you on the one where they're naked? <laughs> yeah. All those? Oh, that's a better site. But now you're my fucking wife. Your Wi-Fi, Scotty. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I'm going to go with, ooh, that's a good one. Uh, J.R. Ryder. Okay. Isaiah Ryder. Okay. All righty. I get to get my last two favorite picks. I'm glad uh, one of these went to jail, but my next pick is going to be Floyd Mayweather. Senior. Senior. Junior. Junior went to jail? Yeah. Yes, he sure did. For what? He was sentenced to oh, that's six right. months yeah, yeah, in yeah. jail. Oh, yeah. So Floyd. Beat up a lot of women. Uh-huh. And uh, I've got one that I, I really – I'm I'm torn because he was probably one of my favorite basketball players of all time, and that is White Chocolate, Jason Williams. Now, he was acquitted, though, wasn't he? He was, but he still did 
time. At least that's what this article says. Okay. Derek, last one. Uh, I'm going to have to go with it. The white trash princess herself, Tanya Harding. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, man. Last pick goes to... I'm with a fucking figure skater. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, there's one on here that I surprised. Um, there's a baseball player that just popped into my my mind as well. Yeah. Let's see here. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's harder. No, I know who I'm going to pick. It, I'm just making sure that Benny Agbayani hasn't been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't look like he has. Damn it. So just because he's come up on the show uh, a few times, uh, Ugreth Urbina. Okay. okay. 14 years for attempted murder. Yikes. So the two that popped into my head and I totally forgot about was... Gooden. Huh? Doc Gooden. Doc Gooden was one, but I didn't want to pick him. Uh, Marion Jones was one, but John Rocker popped in my fucking head. Did he go to prison? I'm pretty sure he did. I don't think he did. I don't think so. Oh, He's I could be wrong. I thought he did. Just a racist and a homophobe, I think. <laughs> I just automatically assumed at that point that he'd then been in prison. Uh, but Charles Barkley... Uh, for DUI, a lot with DUI. Though. Yeah, but, yeah, and that's why that's I didn't play. Tank. But Ryan Leaf. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was on there. Yep. But like six, seven months or something, wasn't it? Yeah. He got caught with uh, breaking into somebody's house to steal their painkillers. <laughs> so you gotta love that. Yeah, Ali was sentenced to five years in prison and banned from boxing for three years. And everybody agrees. But with his that conviction sentence. was overturned. I mean, and I don't think he ever actually went to jail, but he was convicted. All right. Let's look up I Jeremy mean, he was. Side. Let's yeah. look up Quora. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've answered this question. <laughs> Which question? The Muhammad Ali one. Oh, really? Um, yeah. No, not really. But just convicted felons. Athletes are convicted felons. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, anyway what, that's it. Well, that wasn't the fucking thing. That, that's kind of the thing. But whatever. Uh, anyways, guys, that is our draft for this week. Um, yeah, you paid a bond and remained free while the verdict was... Convicted felons. Yeah, okay. But anyways, um, you can go to <laughs> Facebook. Yeah, let's just change the fucking <laughs> rules after the fact. Sure. <laughs> we're, we're going off of websites that says they were in jail. Uh, but anyways, go to Facebook.com at Laughing on the Sidelines and vote for your favorite list of convicted felon athletes. And um, yeah, pick who wins. I think Jeremy won. You know, seriously. Of course he did. Yeah, he did. Even when he loses, he wins. Right. Exactly right. Uh, but now you get to move, or we get to move on to my uh, second favorite part now uh, of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation of the Week, brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, on uh, May 14th, 1988, outside of uh, unincorporated Carlton, Kentucky, a uh, church youth group were going uh, coming home from a field trip in a uh, retired school bus, which the church had per purchased for just such a purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, they were coming around a... Uh, a curve at about 10.55 p.m. and uh, collided head-on at nearly full highway speeds with uh, drunk driver Larry Mahoney. Um, while no one was hurt in the... Uh, they, they collided with his Toyota pickup, and while nobody was initially hurt in the initial collision, it set off a chain reaction where the back of the pickup kind of whipped around and crashed into the side of the bus, which started the fuel tank on fire. Um 40 of the people who were uh, terribly burned but managed to get off. However, it did leave 27 people burned to death, most of them children. Um, however, you'll be happy to know Larry Mahoney himself survived uh, in what would no be known as the Carlton, Kentucky bus crash. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos. Wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> that is my favorite one. <laughs> Larry Mahoney. That was his name. I wonder if that's where Wheels Mahoney came from. Yeah, Maybe. Uh, yeah. Probably. Call him Wheels. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. 
Uh, Wheels Mahoney. What's Wheels Mahoney? <laughs> <laughs> Just some Larry sh- now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even put it as Lawrence. Yeah. Larry. Uh, all right. Well, this week's shitty situation is Derek. Huh? What is it? I don't remember. What? What are we doing? It's a shitty situation. You know it, don't you? No. Well, like, keep laughing, asshole. <laughs> uh-huh. God damn it. All right. So to this week's shitty situation is you are on a date. It got to the point where you actually have been able to take this nice lady home and, uh, you know, things are getting ready to get down. You're going to bang that shit. <laughs> Knock the bottom out of it. <laughs> Pound that puss. <laughs> Make uh, her scream for help. Right. Yeah. But before you do, you decide that you need to get to the bathroom to clean yourself up before such a, uh, you know, act is going to happen. Got to keep the balls fresh. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so would you... I'm like a sauna down there. While this is going on, while you're cleaning yourself, would you rather this girl, who happens to be very nosy, starts going through your things and finds either A... A pair of underwear with a dollop of shit for a skid mark or find your quick trip, what are the convenience store penis enlargement pills? Ah, like the fucking rhino penis. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let me get this straight. This isn't just a skid mark. This is a full on chunk. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is borderline turd. You not borderline turd. You it, gotta. It's it's nobody would have. I, I think maybe just like a, a a skid mark with a little maybe like, a piece of corn. You dotted the eye. <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or the J. Whatever. Lowercase uh-huh. J. Lowercase J. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly didn't cross the T. No, you did not cross the T. <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, uh, th- for me this is uh, this is fairly easy. Uh, I'm gonna go with the convenience store penis enlargement pills um, because if anything, it's just letting her know the truth of what she's getting ready to see. It's not very big, and it, it at least gives her a little bit of a warning uh, for what she's gonna see. So I'm gonna take that. I don't want anybody seeing shitty drawers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to go with the penis pills as well because I can at least explain that away as a practical joke that a buddy of mine pulled mm-hmm. on me. Sure. Like, ah, god damn, fucking Larry Mahoney got me again. <laughs> god damn it. So I'm going to go with the, with the boner pills for that reason. Plus, that means that I'm I'm not very experienced in doing a lot of laundry, so I'm probably going to wash that shitty underwear <laughs> with a bunch of less shitty clothes, and then it's just going to look like swirl. <laughs> it's going to be a new tie-dye. Uh-huh. <laughs> How about you, Jerry? I, I do agree that, yeah, you're going to have a much harder time convincing Mahoney bet me I wouldn't shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's no doubt she's been with Mahoney. (laughs) Guy likes to party. (laughs) Turn that truck into a fucking shagging wagon. (laughs) That's his fuck truck. (laughs) Mm. My God. Oh, yeah. You're you're driving a Toyota pickup. You're getting all kinds of puss. (laughs) Yeah, at least if she sees the the enlargement supplement or whatever, she knows I'm DTF. Yeah, right. (laughs) She doesn't think I'm gross. (laughs) And... uh, I mean, this will be the first and the last time because remember how big I am on minding your own fucking business? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to fuck first, but (laughs) but then you're gone. Right. (laughs) Out the door. (laughs) Oh, good grief. And Uh. just to show her, I'm going to shit in her underwear. (laughs) I'm going to wipe my ass. You're going to wipe your underwear Uh off with that underwear, Mm -hmm. with her underwear. Uh, Because I'm going to work up a sweat down there. Yeah. For sure. For sure. All right. Well, uh, before we get on to, to shows, I don't know. Well, actually, no. Do you guys have any shows coming up? Yep. You do? Yep. What do you got? March 3rd and 4th at Barleycorns with uh, Nick Allen, who you hear on Todd and Tyler all the time. Okay. And Mr. Mike Baldwin. Gotcha. Uh, Jeremy? Nope. Nope. I'm okay. ordering my, my own fucking business. That's what I'm going to be doing. Right. You can see me doing that nowhere. Right. Behind uh, closed doors, assholes. Good deal. To look uh, closely, he's in his underwear. Uh-huh. I, I do actually, shit stained underwear. Mm-hmm. I do actually have to With make an announcement oh, for God. for the show for us as a show. Can we go? No, 
Um, I, I do want to put this out there. We are actually going to do something that we have not done in the uh, over three years that we've done this show. We are actually going to take a vacation. Not not this next episode. But not the, with each other, though. No. no separate that. separate uh, vacation. Um, which means... Me and Derek are going to... Yeah, we're somewhere, gonna but yeah. Uh, yeah, Scotty, you can't come. Thanks, assholes. Oh, speaking pleasure. of which, you want to go to Adam Carolla in March? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Is Scotty coming? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then Damn I do. It. I want to go. Can I? No, Jeremy's going. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Sorry. Anyways. There's only two seats in the whole venue. <laughs> right. Uh, but for what it's worth, we are going to take- You can drive us. No. <laughs> yeah, we need a DD. We are going to be taking a little bit of vacation time. Um, uh, I I know myself and and God, I can Jeremy look at the back of that guy's fucking head. I'm Why? Sorry. God. It looks like he was on that fucking I think bus. He was. <laughs> it's awful. Anyways, He'd be the right age. That might be Mahoney. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> can I make the announcement? Fuck. Get to it already. Vacation, Anyways, yeah, they're we're not gonna that be fun. on. We're gonna be on vacation. We are going to miss uh, one week. Uh, Derek may miss a couple of uh, of weeks because he'll be actually on vacation out of state. I don't know about Jeremy, but there will be one week. I'm never um, coming back. <laughs> there will be at least one week where uh, there will be a a show. There will still be a show. It'll probably be a compilation of some of the funny moments that I have to work on. So stay in tune for that. We, you still will get some form of entertainment, but um, but yeah. Just so you know, trying to give you a heads up. It will not be this next uh, episode following this one. It'll be the one following that. Can I can so, I make a suggestion on that? What's up? Just splice together parts of us talking sports. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be great. Just us going over stats. <laughs> yeah, like in the For, beginning. Uh-huh. 322 yards yeah. and a touch. And a touch. Uh, no, no. Or just a series of the intros. We probably got enough intros to make an hour, don't we? Probably. Oh yeah, for sure we do. Yeah. Just you. What's up, everybody? <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's welcome to horse talk? Huh? Uh, but so keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you guys so much for understanding. We we finally after three years kind of need a. Need when a is week this going to be? Not uh, the next one. Not right? this next episode, but the week following. Yeah, it'll be both for me probably. Yeah, it'll probably be uh, without Derek. Derek's got. Uh, he'll actually be out of the state, so that'll be you know. And he just didn't want to be near me. We so. got Zoom, Derek. Yep. If you, you really can, want to join. really want to do it. Yeah, me pussing <clears throat> out on the top of that roller coaster. Let me on! <laughs> right. Yeah, Derek's going where I was going to go. Because <laughs> he's... Are you going with your No Fear t-shirt? <laughs> no, no. I got my co-ed naked football okay. shirt on. Or the your Big Johnson. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Big Johnson shirt. Can't yeah. kill a man born to hang. Right. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys very much for understanding. We do appreciate it. And as always, we always like to tell you guys, thank you so much for sharing our content. Thank you for getting on TikTok, subscribing to us, getting people to follow us. That helps us grow. Uh, but more importantly, thank you guys so much for uh, telling your friends if you like us. But if you don't like us, fuck Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> if you he means that literally. <laughs> fuck Aaron Rodgers. Go find him yeah. and find stick him. your dick right in his ass. <laughs> Peg him. Peg Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> but if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Fuck Aaron Rodgers. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.